anything, mate. I've not actually, I've not actually got a game tagged. Same. Oh, okay. Fine. Fine. It's a learning curve, mate. We'll work it out. Switching over. Looks good. Looks good, my end. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All good? Yeah, looks good, okay. mate. Okay, perfect. Okay, um, I want to start this out with just saying to, I'd say, most of our chats that we're going to be taking questions at the very end from the chat. Um, we're not really going to be focusing so much on our chats more so than just talking to each other in regards to streaming and focusing on Stun and what he's achieved and everything like that in his now <laughs> career. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that anyway. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, so. And this is our, I mean, this yeah. is our first ever time. So mistakes are bound to happen, but we'll, we'll oh, work yes. it out. We'll work it out. Oh yeah. Um, so I'm just going to double check with my chat as long as if they can hear me and if they can hear you guys, it looks fine my end guys, but let me know in the chat if you can, uh, can or can't hear people when they talk. Um, um, I think Irish was a bit quiet in my end. Uh, if you talk for me again, Irish Raider. Hello, you sexy beasts. I think that's a bit, <laughs> bit better. Yeah. I had you, I had you turned down, uh, cause we played in game. Yeah. Together. Cause when we play games and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, my end, they say they can hear you perfect, so fine. I can always awesome. adjust audio awesome. levels and stuff if anyone's too quiet. Um, yeah. yeah. So cool. Perfect. Cool. So yeah, so it's our first first episode, Gamer Brain. Gamer Brain, where we, uh, where we interview uh, and just talk to and hang out with a streamer. Um, and yeah, that, you know, and we're just going to see. We're going to see what happens. We're going to get to know Stun a little bit better. Because yeah, we've never met Stun. Um, no, but you know and we. Uh, for me. Yeah, yeah. If you say so. Um, how? Let me ask you. How long have you been streaming for? Let me ask. You, I don't think me and James got that written down, or maybe we have. But how long have you been streaming for? Do you know? What was the first stream the other day? I thought. Yeah, I, um, I'm no good at that. I think that. it was July uh, last year. July um, last year. So... so so less than a year. Okay. More than six months. Uh, somewhere in between that, if we do quick maths. It's probably about like nine months or something like that. All right. All right, yeah, because like you said, me and James went back and watched your first stream, and we went back and watched our first streams as well, mine and James's first stream, and I don't think yeah. anyone has a good first stream. I think that's just a thing, because there's... <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? Well, the thing is, there's what? no guide to streaming. Do you know what I mean? You can watch as many no. uh, yeah. helpful tips on YouTube as you want, but regardless no one has a good first stream like james james and yours first streams were in three no 460p mine was worse mine was in no yours was in 480 and mine was in 360p so it's like watching a minecraft think, video do you know I, what i, I do mean? think though that could be something to do with it being so long ago it, or, well or, yeah or and whatever. And the data, re yeah. reducing a bit yeah. of space you know yeah. in the server room or something it could be that but yeah you know from then there were like i said when we watched your first stream and you were sort of because all it was like you positioned your camera sort of sat on the sofa and you were just playing and that was it you know and that's quite similar to like mine mine i was sat on uh i was sat on like half a lazy boy sofa because it splits in the middle and i could only fit I half it. of it in the room oh my camera a clip of it we should have done a few clips <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of the first streams yeah and we, we, we should have oh god that would have been bad my camera well, anyway Stun, let me uh let me ask you um, a couple of questions then in regards to My... this whole kind of point of this. Um, yeah. So what is like the first gaming moment that you can remember either as a child, as an adult, as an adult, adolescent? Jeez, I can't even speak. Um, but like, Ignore me. My, ca my camera focus has gone to shit. Where did it all uh, start for you? Um, so... As in enjoying computer games. Um, so my first game or first gaming console that I got was a SNES, a Super Nintendo. Uh, and it was Christmas time. And I guess I must have been about seven, six or seven. Just for reference, which... how old are you now? Yeah, all right. All right. We'll get there. Um, <laughs> I'm 36. So we're talking okay. 30 years ago. Uh, and it had the, you know, I don't know if you ever had the snares, but they, back then they had like this, the, like the cannon kind of scope, I think it was called. Um, it was the, it was like the, basically a gun, but it was a bazooka gun, uh, that worked with it. I actually uh, remember not having that, but having something similar, which was the time crisis. 
on oh, PlayStation mate, 1. Jesus. With the guns. With the actual gun, I got that as well. Yeah. That was so I good. remember. So I'm guessing it was something along them lines. Yeah, but more basic. Uh, didn't work properly quite as well as the PlayStation gun that came along. Uh, um, the It was... There was like a selection of games. I got Super Mario, which was probably my favorite game growing up, the, the Super Mario World. Um, but the the games that came out with the scope were it was quite cool. Uh, it was um, like shooting like little, you know, like the whack a mole. It was basically that, and you shot a mole as it came up, it bounced up. And good fun. Yeah, someone actually in my chat says that bazooka gun was awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I'm it guessing good. it was a, a big old gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was big. It was well. Okay. It was it was so, for a six year old, yeah. So we're talking thirty years ago. Yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how far back we go gaming for me. Um, and then, I, like, when when would have been the first moment that kind of sparked in your head, and you said, "You know what? I'm I'm gonna try and stream." Like. Like if if that makes sense, like what 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 was the thing that you said? I want to put a camera on myself, sit here and play video games. Become a narcissist and put a camera on myself. Um, well, it's probably like when I started streaming. Uh, so beginning of lockdown, um, uh, for I, I think we all found ourselves doing what, what we're going to do. Uh, I mean, unless you're streaming already or have something in the house that you do. Um, my job kind of came to a what like a, a fast halt which we, we i run retreats with my family um but uh, all of a sudden i was like oh, okay there's work to be done but actually there's nothing no real projects for me to get on with um so i was playing a lot of games um much to my wife's pleasure um i took over the living room uh with and played games with my mates uh and you know chilled out um and then she was like you, you've got to stop doing this and i was like but what if it was a thing? Um, so then, then I went and looked at it, and yeah, I was like, "Oh, people do this. Pe people make money uh, from playing computer games. I'm not doing anything else. Why not?" So it was like nearly like a, a potential, like, "Oh, I could potentially make a little bit of money from this." Like, not saying I mean, it is that, but uh, it I was, think it, deep it down, was... everyone streamer head. Uh, you look at people, you know, well, you, like you know, large yeah. Streamers. I mean, yeah, you make very large. You see, very large streamers making a lot of money. Um, yeah. Absolutely true. Just like you, your kids playing football, see footballers making a lot of money. Um, mm -hmm. They do it for the love of the game. They play football, whatever, right? Um, but obviously, there's a potential career. Um, for me, it was a mix of getting to play computer games and not be told off. Still. Still getting told off it's fine but um <laughs> and and uh, and obviously a project to work on something to do okay uh, i just wanted to say before you started streaming when you were playing were there streamers did you used to watch streamers like were there streamers you used to watch yeah 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 there was some um so the i mean probably one of the most often ones i mean thinned i watched a bit of thinned um, I think the ones that showed up on Facebook for me, because I never really, really got into Twitch. Um, I, I knew it was there. Uh, I knew I could stream straight to console, uh, from console to, to, to Twitch, but it wasn't something I was engaged with, um, be it my age, a little bit older, um, or just something that I haven't quite engaged with. I have a bit more now, now that I, I stream and I am you know, have friends that stream on Twitch and whatnot. Um, but I... Yeah, it was the people that showed up on Facebook. So, I mean, Stone Mountain, watched a bit of Stone Mountain, watched a bit of Nitro Luke, mm. uh, and watched a bit of Thin. Um, yeah. So, like, yeah. In, in theory, that is, like, the top three, I believe, that you could you could easily say uh, known names in the gaming industry or on Facebook. between streamers and on mm. Facebook. Yeah. On, yeah. So, they're, like, they're probably the three, there were the three that were being pushed most at that time. I know there's some other quite prominent ones now. Um, but yeah, I think yeah. I think at the time they were the three biggest ones. Yeah, one hundred percent. And um, so, in your like streaming journey, like, what was the like? What was the idea behind the name Stunator? Um, it was just my gamer's profile name from way back when. Um, yeah. so my name, my surname's Johnston. Uh, Stun became a nickname on the football pitch. 
Uh, not because okay. of my stunning skills, just because of my surname, and it was easy to say. Um, really? Then, so is, is Stun like an abbreviation of Johnson? Johnston. So I got oh, okay. John Stun, okay. John Stun. Like it, it was one of my mates, like whatever, right? Uh, and then can't remember when I could first make a gaming profile. It was the Xbox, Halo. It must have been. I became wow. Stunator um, on the Xbox 360. And that get that profile was just being. The, I changed it for a little bit of time when I started playing Call of Duty Two at university. I was like, "Well, this this name's a bit lame." Um, <laughs> you come back full circle to being lame. Oh, I can remember my. I think, I think my first ever name on uh, on anything, and I'm talking. This is Jesus. We would have been going back to Tenerife, playing on like you know, you go to an aca- um, an arcade area in Tenerife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what you type in your name. Yeah, and um, you, you'd you'd we'd go in with uh, like a group of us, and we'd all like rent a computer. It was like a euro for a half an hour or something, and I think mine was always a uh, killer dad or something like that. I can't remember. But then when I <laughs> when I moved back from that, it turned into Devil Dog. So, Devil Dog. Yeah, mate, yeah, that's good as well. Mine, mine was like uh, the Crusader or something. I thought it sounded really cool as a kid. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's one of those you things. Do, you do, it's one of those do. things you think. You know what? Well now, the Crusader. Yeah, It'll probably be quite sort of like. <laughs> so like, I remember just thinking it was really cool as a kid. On like, what did I have it on? Like my Nintendo GameCube. I had it on. I remember playing Call of Duty and saving my profile as the Crusader because I thought it was cool as a kid. It's just one of those things, isn't it? But um, you know. It is what it is. Yeah, and then and then I came to making this, and I was just like, well, I had to look at other names, like making like a, a brandable name, and I was mm. like, oh, that's taken for something else. That's taken for something else. You know what's not taken? Donator. No one's using that for anything. I'll, I'll, I'll just do it. Uh, and then Antonio was like, you should use it as stun at all, like a dinosaur. I'm okay. Like, oh, so. So ah. everyone actually says your name wrong then, in theory. Well, I mean, so I say Stunator, and then Ant- I say Antonio... Stunator. <laughs> it's a thing. That's a, yeah, I would as well. And then, and then Antonio's like, "No, Stun at all. You're you're the Stun at all." And I was like, "Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm old, so yeah, okay, I could be a dinosaur." Yeah, and that's where oh, the tagline. Gotta at, love uh, it. That's. Uh, uh, gotta love it. That's a revelation right there. That's a revelation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For reference, I think Stunator sounds better. But you know, but, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I, mean, I, I, I actually like thought, I, I actually thought originally that um, it was because you used to look at yourself and be like, "I'm stunning," and then just be like, "I'm going to call myself stun." Um, I'm so you handsome. Know, I, th- I thought that's yeah. what it was going to be. You know, <laughs> to be honest, I think it, the the name stun came from the exact opposite. That when I was a kid, I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> you're stunning, mate." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. Um, um, I'm just having a look. That one, that question you've highlighted, James. Have you? Yeah. Have we been through that? Uh, no, no, we haven't. Uh, Stun. What is your? What has been your favourite moment streaming so far? Have you got like something you did, like an accomplishment? Was there anything you did where you th- can think like this was my favourite moment streaming? Um. So. There's different ways of answering this. So uh, for me personally, uh, there's been a few people that have come forward and asked for help, uh, whether it be personal stuff or, um, you know, stuff that they're finding hard with or just helping people on stream. And I found that's been rewarding uh, that I potentially can help. Um, And it's something that I've looked at and because there's been quite a few people who've come forward now uh, and said, I'm going through this, I'm going through that, uh, you know, I'm having a tough time. Um, and even just the, the the scale that I'm on, the size the size of stream, the community that I've has, has grown, um, I've really found that. So I've looked at sounds quite lame doing life coaching courses and things that so I can actually answer those questions rather than go I why well, I think maybe this that uh, and I don't know if I'm answering it correctly. Um, so. I, I've looked at that kind of stuff, and then there's being raided by Stone Mountain, which was really cool. You got wh- when uh, was that? Oh wow, um, I didn't know I that. Got raided, raided by Stone Mountain about a month ago. Jesus! Oh you, wow, that's do you, incredible. Do you know what your that's viewers went went from and to? <laughs> they went from maybe like on a good time. I've got about twenty. Uh, yeah. So it went from about twenty to, um, I think it was 
just shy of 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 people. Wow. Um, well, wow. And, yeah, I mean, I think the raid size was 6,000, but then not everyone Yeah, not everyone. It's like, yeah, yeah. People, it, Tells you the numbers. Yeah, so amount of this. Yeah, uh, yeah. As we, as we, we're aware as streamers that when we send a raid, um, well, it, only it, a percentage it, of people go. Okay, yeah, okay. I'll yeah, well, it actually pops up, over. doesn't it? It pops yeah, yeah, up yeah. like uh, join the raid or back out or stay. Up oh, again. hang on. TJ said three point five k at one point. It went up to three point five k. So that's incredible. Okay. That's incredible. I think that's something that we all wish to see at least once <laughs> in our lifetime i'll send yeah. the st i'll send him an email for you james i'll send him an email yeah. for you. well I, I sent him a message afterwards and he got back yeah uh, oh wow so just just saying uh mate thanks so much for the raid like so much love um what you do is awesome blah 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 and he came back yeah saying cheers mate uh and i i, I kind of went you know co-stream uh, I think a lot. You anyway, see that a lot. You see that a lot, and then he ne he never gets back to anyone. It's one of those he, things, he, mate. He got back to me. Uh, so yeah, no, it was it, like so. Something down the road. Who knows, right? He's 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 a lovely, lovely guy, and um, he is. But you can and, even see that when you actually watch him. Mm, you know, you yeah. can see that he's a genuine guy. Yeah, I yeah. think but, I think I can't think of a. I, I'm trying to think of how to say this without sounding wrong. I can't think of a more popular streamer on facebook than stone mountain like i don't know anyone that doesn't like him do you know what i mean well, yeah exactly yeah yeah i, I mean think... and there's reasons for that he makes interesting funny content mm. and he seems genuine i uh, and, i and very well so it's, it's it's amazing it's going it's going uh off track a bit but i sent him an email back in 2015 2016 i sent him an email and he actually emailed me back um, when I first started streaming on Twitch, that was, uh, and I sent him an email asking like loads of advice and stuff to his personal email account, which I don't know if he like advertises it anymore. And he actually sent me a whole email back about like, so it was in 2016, he was like, you know, it was back when like his Battlefield 4 videos were out, you know, when he sort of just, okay. just sort of yeah. took off. One of the, the YOLO. Yeah, like that, that. Yeah. Um, and I sent him that email in 2016 and he was like, you know, I've been uploading those videos since 2011 and no one took notice. So it's one of those things, right. mate, like in the background before that, he was doing content the same as that doing for five oh, yeah. years before it yeah, took yeah. off. So it's really yeah. interesting to think about, like he didn't just go overnight. It's like he something, was at it for years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. And then, yeah, yeah. so all it needs is that one little moment. So speaking, so speaking of something having to catch. Um, oh yeah. Well, that's all to be mentioned in my is, chat. Uh, How about this the video? <laughs> this is episode okay, one yeah. of Gamer Brain, and uh, yeah. I've titled it "Viral Overnight." Yeah. Uh, something that probably relates to yourself. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit more about that and explain exactly what happened? why it happened for those people that don't know you, and, it, and how it made you feel so we're talking about the the incident the video the incident uh, <laughs> the incident uh so you know as when you're trying to grow like well, I literally just died out um been streaming for a few months kind of figured it out a little bit and um, i would say i'm still pu pulling the same gormless face as i was then so I, whatever um but like, so I w used to watch Nitro Luke, blah, blah, blah. He, he was running customs. I was like, oh, okay, well, let's jump into that. I'm like, I think he's doing good stuff. Um, uh, and then he ran a couple solo customs and I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I, I actually had people to, to play with. Um, uh, but yeah, I went into the, uh, uh, the solo custom and um, I think the first custom I did quite well, actually. Um, and that wasn't the game because I got to play two games and then I was like, get out. Um, but um, so did you? Did you actually get banned or did you get blocked or what actually happened in regards to that? So after, um, so yeah, so after that game where I shot Nitro Luke, didn't realize I shot Nitro Luke. Nitro and then Control Deck actually pushed me. Then I killed control deck ran around for a little bit then kick killed yeah. someone came you, you you have a video I, of this don't you 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 have made an actual video yeah yeah i made a video of the the, the incident happening but yeah. at the time like i was oblivious to what was being said on nitro extreme um wow okay 
and well obviously oblivious to the whole thing because i don't i'm not very good at checking the kill cam uh to say oh look who i've killed it's just it's, just, it's not always uh on my on my mind yeah i'm, I'm trying to stay alive in a, in a lobby where really good players are there. yeah I mean, so, uh, like, Luke has a uh, four plus KD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, control decks four, five plus KD. I, I played that game very differently to, as I'd normally run around a solos match. I was very okay. conservative, very you know, listening out the whole time, um, which is probably what you should do in a solos match. Uh, hmm. but, and um, yeah, so someone came to my chat and said, "Did you stream snipe Nitro Luke?" I was like, "No, no, I, I didn't even kill him." Anyway, uh, I think he might have done. Uh, <laughs> so so to to clarify so you were doing customs nitro luke was hosting i guess yeah, yeah, customs. yeah, yeah, yeah. so and you killed him and i remember watching the video is right next to uh superstore wouldn't it he was coming out yeah. he came he out one out of the windows store. of superstore jumped down um yeah and he because he thought it was someone else and actually it was you coming across the road wasn't it and yeah I, yeah so he he, he, there was a bit of confusion. He thought I was the same guy uh, that shot him inside Superstore, then managed to track him to be shooting him outside Superstore. Um, and he did like an elaborate you know, escape scheme from this this, this dude. Um, there, yeah. Um, and I was, and I, and the, the purpose of that video was because I, I sent him a message saying, dude, it wasn't me. Uh, I didn't stream snipe you. Um, and he was like, no, if you're this character, I stream, if you were stream snipe me. Then I sent him a clip saying, Look, this, I was this guy, and he ignored me, uh, and continued to talk about it on stream. I was like, it seemed to be a topic of conversation, probably because people were bringing it up or whatever on, on his stream for a couple of days. Um, so the day after uh, that, I was like, oh, I could just, you know, what I I could put a video out here, uh, and hopefully it, it'll prove that I didn't stream snipe him because I'm still getting people coming into my chat going. You're a cheater. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, I'm not, but okay. Um, so, th so then I then I put this little video together, and it, it didn't take me very long at all. I just um, like screenshot his his point of view with me chatting. Uh, a screen like recorded my my Facebook video going. So I did this, I did that. What do you guys reckon? Um, yeah. That and, was literally. Uh, I, I didn't. There wasn't no great thing. The video I think came together okay, mm. but it wasn't like oh, like this is this could be really good. Um, and then obviously I tagged Nitro Luke in, which was the thing I think that got me a bit of exposure, and then people jumped on it. Um, well, I mean, everyone can tag a streamer in their <laughs> in their in their in their videos it, or whatever. But I think yeah, it was yeah. the fact that the video was um taking something that was a high topic and a lot of people were like i think nitro has gone through a, uh, a thing where he's like always calling people out you know he's always and you literally just time, like was, cut that off you know time, straight yeah, away yeah yeah so i was, think when when everyone's seen that they were just like incredible but did you expect to get the amount like i'm guessing you got a lot of followers from this one video yeah i mean i had 300 followers uh when i put the video out and within the week of the exposure so, so the video had like it got like two hundred thousand views within maybe 10 days um and within those 10 days i think i went up to about three to four thousand wow. followers okay just yeah Incredible. i think it was, it was about three uh, it's about three thousand five hundred or something like that when um, um when you did that video in your mind and it might be both but in your mind, were you thinking more of the fact like he's called me out for stream sniping and I haven't? Or were you thinking more of this would make good content and help push my name out there? Or was it both? It would no, it was completely he's called me a stream sniper and I haven't. Okay. Yeah, I'm, it was it was proving your own point, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean it, all all I wanted at that time when I made the video was Nitro Luke to see the video and go, Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you're good. It's all right. That's mad. That's mad. Um, yeah, yeah. That's it incredible, would, though. And I know there's, I mean, most of the feedback from that video. So there's lots of feedback, like whatever people commenting on videos, and most of it's positive. Uh, and then there's obviously some people negative towards me, and some people negative towards Nitro Luke. Um, and obviously Nitro Luke's got a bigger following, so there's probably slightly more people negative towards Nitro Luke, which Just is a, a shame. Bit of a bigger following. 
yeah, just a little bit. We will we'll get there, <laughs> don't worry, first. Um, yeah, so I, I, which is a shame. And I, I think that happens. I think there's, um, you get trolls and whatnot uh, to everyone, everyone's extent. So, yeah. But yeah. That's, uh, it's mad to, it's mad though to think, isn't it, that you, you create a video and it can just blow up like that, you know? Yeah. And like, I think it's something, if I want to push being a streamer, I need to do more video creation more yeah. like so rather than just currently streaming. currently what what would be your schedule and like where can people uh find you time wise do you have any sort of time frames or anything like that so i do most evenings uh streams each each day of the week um and then I, at the moment i'm just doing one daytime stream a week which is the tuesday day and then every other evening and on a wednesday you can find me with irish raider six o'clock Who's that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> authentic. so yeah no um i mean there's I'd, I'd like to create a bit more a structured schedule uh but it's kind of doing that at the moment around uh other life mm. things that i should set in place as well <clears throat> like work and whatnot but yeah he's always yeah there we are tj's telling me i'm always late so yeah yeah <laughs> Norm I'm there's, normally late. there's something i want to ask that we actually haven't got written down um and it's kind of a two-part thing. Do you stream anything other than Warzone currently? Um, no, not really. I've I've streamed uh, one Fortnite stream and one uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds stream, PUBG. Um, and uh, I will introduce some other kind of content, which will be some like from the Switch. I might do some back on the back on the on the on the living room sofa, guys. Okay. Uh, uh, every now and then with the switch i might i might i might mix it up a bit a bit of mario kart or something the other thing um, is um what what were you into before warzone like i want to know if if warzone didn't exist what do you think you would be streaming at the moment um right, so i've got a selection of xbox games just over here not not planned all right literally, not, not 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 planned wink wink no, no, hey? not, literally <laughs> so the games the games i own call of duty 2 Okay. So that's going back to that's going, going back, going back away. I going was I back. even born? Was I even born when that? Came? Well, it's <laughs> mate. It's I've played all of them, mate. So yeah, 18, you were eighteen years ago. Eighteen yeah. years yeah. ago. 19, 18, 19 years ago. I played the one uh, before that, mate. I played. Call of Duty, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Finest yeah. Hour then, it was. Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Played a bit of that. That was given to me from someone that worked at Activision, actually. Um, someone that worked at Activision. She came to a retreat. Uh, one of my uh, re like yoga fit retreats, and she and okay. got, uh, we got. I was running one of the hikes, and we just got talking. And I was like, "Oh!" And she said she worked at Activision. I was like, "You work at Activision, but my favorite game. You make my favorite game ever." <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Give me your address," and she just sent me a whole load of Call of Duty stuff. Actually, she sent me Destiny as well. They make that. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's an Activision okay. game, Activision Bungie. So that's uh, that's basically Activision and Bungie who make uh, Halo. So you're basically um, sponsored by Activision, is what you're saying? No, no. no. <laughs> One day, right? Uh, Call of Duty, uh, <laughs> and then a few, uh, another Call of Duty, and then a, two, a couple of random games. Basically, I'm, I enjoy first-person shooters. Okay. Okay. I enjoy it when if Halo brings out another another Halo. Well, when they bring out another Halo, I think I'll get back into that a bit. I enjoy um, Gears of War. Um, so the big question. Yeah. What is your favorite game of all time? I think Call of Duty 2. I mean, yeah, Mario World was amazing. Um, and there's, you know, other games that I've played uh, through growing up. I think Time Crisis is great as well. I, I really enjoy Time Crisis. Uh, not Time Crisis. Uh, no, the, 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 gun, the game we were talking about with the gun earlier. Was that Time Crisis? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Time yeah. Crisis, yeah, yeah. Time Crisis 2, wasn't it? We had to constantly like bob out of corners and shoot and go back. Because yeah, yeah, you had yeah. to go back <laughs> yeah. in to reload, didn't you? Do you remember that? It's, an arcade, it's basically an arcade game, isn't it? Yeah. Football, yeah. You would have the foot pedals yeah. to pop out and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Um, yeah. But I think either Call of Duty 2 or, or Warzone. I played as much, I played probably as much Warzone as I did. I, well, Call of Duty 2. So I, I used to be in a clan for Call of Duty 2 and like used to be decent decent at that that's where the car action really became insane irish car 98 was brilliant in call of duty mate 
yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's when that's when you learn how to snipe. Yeah. He's yeah. been practicing yeah, yeah. for eighteen years. Well, no, the, the thing is, so, so post uni, post uni, I stopped. I kind of came up. I stopped playing games as much. Uh, went and got a job in this like city, uh, um, in the TV industry, which t- took up all my time, um, and you know, very little time. You, you know, enough time to going out and get drunk most nights, but not much time for going back to the house and playing some games. Um, in my head, that's you know. So I didn't. I kind of disengaged with my Xbox for a, a long time. Um, and then, do you mind me asking? I don't know. I don't oh, know. Aladdin. Antonia, or... Antonia says maybe Aladdin on the SNES. Aladdin on the SNES was very wow. good as well. That's, that deserved... that's memories. Yeah, yeah, the magic carpet ride, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to yeah, say, sorry, James? Um, I was going to say, like, question that we don't actually have, but or maybe we do actually have it there. Um, so obviously, um, career wise. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you were in uni, what were you studying? Like, what or, or what did you do before streaming? Like, so I, I know we spoke about this a little bit off, off before we off started stream. the yeah, streaming yeah. stuff, but like, just to let everyone else know, like, so if you could enlighten so, us, that would be fantastic. So, work wise, uh, well, uni, I went and did media production, uh, and like specializing in film production. Um, so I, that was a degree I did, um, and then I, I, I've done a few courses at, with at for photography alongside that because i wanted to be a director of photography uh like producing on on films um but before that i've got some work experience at smtv so before going to uni i was i was from college uh i i don't know if you remember smtv and the deck saturday morning live television oh yeah 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 no, no see uh, i was i'm oh, not from guys. england am i so S- no i know what no. it is smtv yeah yeah yeah, S and D and C D U K. So was it so was there was someone it, else? Was it just Ant and Deck or was there Ant and Deck and Cat Dealey? Cat that so was were, it. Yeah, I remember, were, I remember, I remember. I remember. They were a little trio and then Ant and Deck went off um and did the road well they they obviously it was part of their launch pad from Biker Grove. Ant and Deck went went uh went to S and T V and then did other things. Um so I worked on that, uh and that was like and I, I, I kind of like it was it was fun and an easy-ish job for me at that time because after work experience I carried on. They asked me to stay on and I carried on working um, for them, uh, like looking after production things on the Saturday morning uh, when I was outside college. Um, went off to uni, stopped that, lost contacts with that, and then came back. And then a friend of mine uh, was leaving their job working for a production company uh, which produced the National Television Awards. Um, so they were like, you could probably just have this job if you, if, if the, if the team like you, I was like, mm, yeah, that would beats working at beats express right now. Um, so I went and got an interview, uh, and did that for a bit, uh, and then did a few other jobs, uh, TV world, um, like wise, um, uh, and then like so i went to work for a company called spirit media um who produce a lot of like uh online content for celebrities so like they launched like youtube channels for i don't know they did jamie oliver's youtube channel at foodtube when it kicked off and other other like celebrities coming into the um online content kind of world uh because that's where they saw the future going um and it's still going that way, progressing to, towards, uh, you know, everyone having their own kind of channel, this kind of stuff. Um, and then my sister moved to Ibiza and was like, I'm going to do these retreats. Um, can you help me on them? Uh, and I was like, yeah, 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 we could, we could do that. Um, so, so just we... in regards to the retreats, um, what would they be like exactly? If you don't mind me asking. It, it's a healthy holiday. Um, so it's, we take over a big hotel, um, and we in like sell holidays basically called retreats. Um, and we have lots of classes, fitness classes, yoga classes, dance classes, uh, lots of different people coming on board, very well-known fitness presenters, uh, from around the UK and, and actually further afield. 
um, had a few American presenters and whatnot come come through, but mainly English speaking. Um, and talks from you know influential positive uh, speakers, speakers um, and things like that. So it's kind of like a festival um, in Ibiza. Uh, just with we have about five hundred to six hundred people come uh, each retreat and take over a big like resort hotel uh, and like have this week long uh yeah good vibes feeling good in the sunshine first of all Just, it sounds sounds to me like a, a house party with 500 people in someone else's house yeah <laughs> but yeah. everyone has to be healthy <laughs> but well... you have to be healthy there's no alcohol involved no, it's... well it's it's an open bar it's an open bar so oh, okay. oh wow oh, so, like you could do so you can what's your number again well that's incredible that's um that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I mean, that was, that was like kind of took a left, left turn. And I, I, I did all the promotion online photography uh, and everything going down that road to help market, market the retreats. Um, and Lindsay, so talking about viral videos, my sister, uh, I made a video for Lindsay and my sister in 2012 and it's sitting on 56 million views. Um, and her channel's got like almost 200 million views from Jesus. the videos the dance literally just my sister dancing um sorry zumba like like d dance fitness not just dancing around and whatever um <laughs> some people you so, know some people got the wrong idea then i was sort of so, thinking yeah. this is going off some a little bit <laughs> some people in the chat are like uh what's, uh, uh, what's, what's that the link YouTube? again what's the channel uh yeah so, so that's so that she, she she's got quite a big following in the fitness world uh and yeah so that kind of helped launch the retreats and whatnot but yeah all right that's awesome um you said about how much you've invested in um you know everything you've done would you ever consider streaming full-time as a career um or have you invested too much you know of your life already in other areas no i, I mean i think if i was to do this full-time it everything else would happen as well as I, okay. I wouldn't wouldn't ever like stop running retreats um, yeah. or doing other things other projects um like just launched another like a fitness website um and there there'd always be other things happening uh, but yeah i definitely consider doing more of it longer term and full time more full time hours on it um it's so the moment is still like a passion project uh, and it's, it's been a really cool, like passion project, uh, met some like cool friends uh, and, and I mean, like, let's not get this, like I've, I've, I've hit 6,000 followers, which is unreal. I've not, that's incredible. Not done, I've not Congratulations. done that, not done that on anything else that I've, I've produced. So going going down that road a bit more then then yeah i mean i could i could see it can see me spending more time doing this but it's yeah but i think at the moment in my in my mindset it's still just like a project that i'm pushing along if you understand yeah yep i understand completely yeah it all, i think it all starts out as you know i think for all of us or yeah, say at least ninety percent of us sit there and start out with, you know, next to nothing, um, and then you just grow from there. Yeah, because I've not shared honest, this. I've not shared my stream once on my own personal profile. Okay, really? Wow, none of my friends. No, I've never told a friend that I, I stream. They've they've seen some of my friends come have come in and and seen that I'm doing it, but yeah, I've never I've never told my friends that I, that I stream. So for the most part, your friends don't know. Yeah, no, most most. Pointy, do you want to ask that question that I've highlighted? Hang on, let me see which one is. Yeah, there yeah, that all works. <laughs> um, oh yeah, it's not a bad one. It kind of links on to what you were saying. Um, yeah. One of the questions me and James have got wrote down uh, is, "How do your friends and family feel about you streaming?" Because um, if if your friends, and do, and if go on. do they know? Yeah, because and do they understand what it is? Because it's like if I try to explain streaming to like my parents, they're like, 
What? Like they don't get it? Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my dad is one of my supporters. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, my parents know. Um, they, I mean, they see it as a little project, whatever, right? They, uh, um, a lockdown project or whatever you want to call it. They, it's like, uh, it's like when you're a teenager. Oh, it's just a phase is going through. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they see it more than that now. Um, because I've spoken to them about it and I've spoken to, I, like, not, uh, as I mentioned before, how people of like the community, like they've. I've had certain people come forward and like ask for um, like advice or whatever. And, and they're like, oh, okay. So you're helping people. I was like, yeah, I mean, for some part, I am helping people. Uh, and the, the content creation, you know, I don't see that as helping people, but maybe that's another form of breaking a barrier, which potentially can let me help people. Um, is this just a phase? Antonio is saying, all right, yeah. It's mm. a phase. Of, uh, <laughs> That's a little wild, isn't it, Antonio? Um, <laughs> the uh... yeah. and my friends, so my my all my close friends know. Uh, some of the like because I, I they see they've because I created an Instagram profile and that's connected with my account somehow. So uh, they they found out okay. and and when they first found out, it was like you're doing this and uh, and some of them were like, that's cool, you're doing this, like. I, I watch streamers uh, and some of them found out from the video was like, what you, you stream? I'm that like, was you? <laughs> you, you. I was watching Nitro League stream and, and uh, like friends from uni when I used to play games, they're like, what? And like, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, which is really cool. Um, so I guess it's mixed reactions because I mean, cause let's be honest before you watch content, what watch like other streamers it, it, it doesn't really make sense you're watching other people play games hmm. why 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 yeah. would you why would you do that and then yeah and then you start watching people play games and you're like hmm. oh. oh okay i kind of get this the way this is... the way i kind of try and describe it when people ask me is like you know people watch people all the time play football on television do you know what I mean? Or you could go out and play football, but people have spent most of their life watching football matches on TV. Why wouldn't you go out and play it while you sat there watching yeah. it? It's kind of the same sort of concepts, you know, because, I mean, you're watching like professionals, but then you can watch professionals play games. Do you know what I mean? It's kind yeah, of more absolutely. more variety with streaming than there is with things like that, I think. Yeah, like in one of my past relationships, I remember the first ever streamer I watched um, who actually influenced me into it. We'll talk about that? that on a different day. Okay. Noah J456. Okay. Um, and I remember sitting there watching him doing Easter eggs on zombies. And, uh, you know, I, I, I was getting the ex misses with the kids, you know, and she's going, You're just sitting there watching someone play a game. I was like, Yeah, because you don't let me play the game. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just watch him and say, Jesus. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. yeah. It's entertaining. There's there is yeah, actual there is hundred percent entertaining. Um, whether it be the game or whether it be the person you're connecting with on the stream, yeah, it, there's definitely uh, something there. Um, One hundred percent agree with that. Something I've always said as well is um, to be a streamer, you don't just sit there and play a video game. You're not just playing a video game. Yeah, you're connecting with people. Um, the people get to know you as a person get to know your personality. You yeah. know, it's not all about, you know, sheltering yourself off and putting a fake persona on. It's about yeah, yeah. being you. It's about and opening yourself up. Exactly. It's and an, and it, people think... people see that. Um yeah. I think at the end of the day, people see, wow, you know, and they they, they 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 have a bond with you. And I think it's once you actually break that bond with people that um it's it's, it's not break that bond, make that bond with people they tend to come back and they'll come back and watch mm -hmm. more and you know they might you might only have 10 viewers but them 10 viewers are the 10 people that feel like you know either we're like their best mate but we've never met them in person but they probably mm -hmm. know more about us than we know about them and i think that's one thing with streaming it's either you're in you, you're an entertainer and you're there and they support the streamer 
or they're just there for the game. And yeah, sometimes yeah. it's yeah, yeah, a little bit of both, you know. Stun's looking at something and smiling. So I'm, has someone yeah, said something? Well, I, so no, I mean, Amy, uh, you know Amy, uh, Irish, um, Lady Trooper. Um, she said that we don't connect. I'll leave. That's fine. <laughs> She's joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but I, what I was going to say is um, I didn't call myself entertaining. Just to, just to let you know, chat, I didn't. I, I, I said it's entertaining. The streamers I watch, I find entertaining. I'm not referencing as myself as super entertaining. I understand. <laughs> I might have it. Something uh, that we haven't got wrote down that I want to ask. Who is your favourite streamer? Who do you find yourself watching the most? Um, I mean, the last couple of weeks, I haven't actually watched that m many uh, streams. I mean, I, to be honest, the friends I've made, uh, so yeah. Irish, I watch, I watch uh, your streams as much as anyone else's. Uh, M4s, I, 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 I genuinely uh, enjoy watching his streams. Um, uh, Alfie BFA's recent streams, especially in like. Uh, taking a taking a twist on on his stream which was super fun um mm -hmm. and yeah no i i think um i mean obviously i still uh, i mean i don't watch thinned anymore for one reason or another i just i, I don't i'm i've lost on his content now um so i used to really enjoy his the team work that he had on his stream uh within the game um and I, I just haven't really connected. I maybe it's just haven't watched, and maybe it's still the same, and maybe it's still really funny and really cool. But, um, and I still watch Nitro Luke occasionally. Uh, Stoned again, the three, those three big ones, I still watch, uh, every now and then. Um, I mean, there's noodles as well. I, I quite actually, maybe just because of the puppies, but I, I, um, I have puppies. Uh, is quite a cool guy. The uh, yes. is it, I, I've got, is it, I've, I've got, got, I've got puppies. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've, yeah. I, was I, was about to say, I was like, I have puppies. I was like, do you? Because yeah. <laughs> the the other thing I, you I said, see, I see, I've seen your dogs. <laughs> the other thing you said earlier was um, because I was going to ask why you picked Facebook for streaming, but then you said you I didn't. Just, really, I was just thinking that you did. You said earlier you didn't really watch anyone on Twitch or anything like that. Yeah. Um. If any, yeah, I, I'm used to Facebook. I like it was just it just made sense yeah it was way more work to get my stream especially when i started from my xbox to manage to get it through to facebook as yeah. i looked into it but i was just like it's worth it and are you still currently on xbox or you made the move to PC, no correct? i've i've made the move to pc like a few months ago now um i still have my xbox set up because i've got some games uh, that i'll play um, call of duty 2 yeah, one of them. yeah I, made, I loaded it up the other day. I loaded it up actually yesterday to see, you, and there's no one online. It's sad. It's sad. There's literally no one plays it. I was like, oh, but it's such a good game. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I still use an Xbox controller. I literally just upgraded to an Elite Xbox controller, but still much prefer the feel of an Xbox controller. Because um, mm. one of one of the things we've got is um, to ask you about your current setup compared to when you first started streaming how has that sort of evolved as you've you know come along so what i mean i've got so to begin with it was an xbox uh plugged in to an a10 mini pro uh which is like a super duper graphics uh sorry super duper capture card right it's, um so it's uh like the um What's the one that you've got? What the one do you use? HD sixty S, the Elgato. The, the Elgato, yeah. So it's yeah. like an Elgato on speed. It's um, it's got five HDMI inputs. Jesus. Um, it's got a um, like a few mic lines in. Um, it's got several different, and and you can mix. So if we had all these camera feeds coming into it, I could just literally press buttons and mix. Um, the live feed. It's 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 what a it's a mini version of a TV production suite uh, for doing broadcasting live events. Um, wow. And I've got that for doing other projects and bits and pieces and auto Antonio teaches classes downstairs. So it's just like a, a secure, very solid capture card that will never, never go down, never break um, made by black magic. Um, um, so 
it's, heard of them. So it, it's very good. Um, plugged into my MacBook Pro, um, which didn't enjoy uh, streaming because it just got too hot, <laughs> uh, overheated all the time. Um, still had this camera coming through it, uh, the Sony Sony camera, which didn't enjoy streaming overheats. Um, running running like this i've got a fan sat behind my camera now doesn't a little little fan not for anything else just for my camera uh wow my ca camera cool um <clears throat> now i'm on a, a like a one pc setup okay um, so your like, so you don't stream on your uh macbook anymore at no, all. just one 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 computer um okay. it's it's a decent you know it's a i don't know the ryzen 9 350 so it's like the newest Ryzen's. That's a very good, yeah. yeah. Ryzen, like Ryzen nine, is what I have, and I can tell yeah. you now they're not cheap. No. Did you and then I've got the thirty series graphics card as well? So it's decent. Did you build it's it yourself? Thirty series or... graphics card. Um, sorry, the thirty seventy series graphics card. Thirty seventy, yeah, yeah. Deep, um, yeah, my bad. And, my bad. And I didn't. No, no, no. Uh, and I didn't build it. I it was built, but by, by a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, like so it is a custom. It is a custom build. Yeah, custom build. So yeah, you yeah, bought yeah. the parts and he built it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He suggested the parts. I was like, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I right. think that's that's kind of the same for me. Like, Get the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah. Apart from the graphics card, I was like, well, uh, mate, we got to wait for a bit for the graphics card because there's a new series, mm. uh, new new line of graphics cards coming out, so we had to wait a bit for that. Um, okay. How long have you had the your new PC for? I think it was December, late, late November or December that I first started using it. Okay. Um, yeah, about then. So, because yeah, it was sort of towards the end of last year that the thirty series came out. Yeah, I think I, so. I was in a queue. I was in a like I had the thirty eighty bought, purchased, but I was one thousand three hundred in the queue. Um, and then each week I'd be like, so. Where am I now? <laughs> I know. 295th in the queue. Okay. So just five a week you're giving out. Great. So when am I <laughs> expecting this graphics card? Um, I, I know people that are still waiting that pre ordered, you know, before it was released. Yeah. And I know people that are still waiting now. Um, yeah. And I, and I literally said, guys, I've built this computer and I'm, I'm sitting on it and I, I'm, I'm trying to stream and my, my laptop's not working. Uh, and I was on the <laughs> phone with the company at the time. And I was like, what graphics card have you got? in your possession that I could buy today. And they're like, uh, well, there, there's no 38 series. Yeah, no, I'm not asking about 38 series. Literally, what graphics card have you got? Um, should I buy a 2080? They're like, no, no, if you, you don't want a 2080, um, if you're gonna buy an, if, if you're gonna get a 28, I'd recommend a 3070. Great, have you got one of them? And yeah, give it to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, no, it's, give it to yeah. me. <laughs> it's still it's still probably like that now it's still like that now yeah. i got my computer i can't remember when it was it was like august um so i've got a 2070 super and i knew the 30 series was coming out but i wasn't in a rush to get one because i knew it would end up being like this and the wait would end up being too long and i needed a pc there and then um, yeah so i ordered it and it showed up uh all the parts showed up two days later um because i like you i streamed off a laptop and it it wasn't it wasn't good you know um it's just, a, it's just a, it just doesn't have the cooling yeah and exactly constant using you're constantly using the processor power of yeah. the computer and, and whatever you got and it's just i'll, uh, I'll quickly that. tell you i'll quickly tell you how uh when i started streaming yeah. <laughs> i had a hp laptop that was an i3 right i used to only be able to have my camera and i the way that i used to stream was through the playstation I used to have to have remote play, okay, because I, I had no capture card, so I had to like remote play Ooh. onto the laptop. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then window yeah. capture the remote play. Jesus. And the quality just obviously deteriorates anyway. Yeah. And then on top of that, you have to uh, you have to like push it out there, so it's deteriorating again. My quality of gameplay when my first probably six months at least of streaming. Or maybe I'd say probably that's too much. Maybe three months of streaming for like three hundred and sixty fucking whatever yeah. it is. You know, it was just oh, it was just so bad. 
so yeah, so yeah. bad. I mean, yeah, I I kind of need to go and watch that now. You I should. You should. Your first stream because yeah. you, you've gone. Oh, if you, I believe on my first stream, <laughs> um, there's no camera. The camera's not on. Yeah, same with first, mine. Like, same with mine. For the first bit of it, and then I'm like, I'm <laughs> sitting there, and I'm just like. Oh, we we, had, we watched. Yeah, me and James when we went Amazing. when we went back and watched your first streams. We were like, oh, let's go back and watch our first streams. And it's like 15 minutes into James's stream, he's just there, like trying to sort out the angle of his camera. 15 minutes later, his head just pops in. Um, yeah, it was quite good. I used to have so many issues. Yeah. I still do now, mate. I don't I, think you ever grow out of, of them days. Hopefully, I, well, fingers crossed. I think we're always learning. I think oh that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, I mean, like yeah. there's a steep learning curve at the beginning about what you what you're doing, what you're doing. But like, there's always there's like I th I think I came there was someone I was helping a, um, a streamer the other day uh, set up his system, um, and he's like, oh, and I was like, use OBS and then bring in Streamlabs uh, as a browser source for your chat and whatever. Um, if you if you want it up on your on your um, capture thing or OBS. Um, and it's, oh, we can do this as well. I was like, oh, can you? Oh, oh, yeah, you can do that through Streamlabs. Oh, look at that. Um, so, the, I mean, there's always things that you learn and... Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean... That, always. That kind of leads on to one of the questions we've got, um, which is, what do you think has been your hardest moment streaming? Like, is it, like, learning things? Was there something you had to, like, overcome? Um, you know, what, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, no, I, I mean, I wouldn't say there's been a particularly hard moment. I'm watching, like, so, so the incident that happened with Nitro Duke mm. happened, uh, and I was actually okay at that time on that stream. Uh, he came back at me again, uh, like a few weeks ago. Um, recently, because, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, maybe, maybe a month ago. Um, and it, like, he called me out for walls. I was like, what? You got no, no. You got aimbot. You got walls. You, you're you're cheating. You're straight up cheating. And it's because the app at that time. You know when Activision made everyone's details like uh, like um, private, private again. Yeah. Mm. Um, they they actively went and made everyone's um, stats private. Um, so if you wanted them to be public, you had to go and remake them public. Um, mm. And the app was bringing up my headshot ratio like it changed every game. It was either twenty two, uh, thirty two. 55 it changed literally every game and i went into a lobby and nitro luke was in that lobby i don't know why i should be in the same lobby as nitro luke but that's it whatever um <laughs> uh and it, on that game it was showing my headshot ratio of 55 um so i had i think i got about five or six hundred people in my stream going at me like proper going oh, jesus at me. so uh, did you run into it and, uh, and i was i thought i was okay um and i thought at that time i'm like, okay I'm, i can handle this uh and I, I couldn't the chat wasn't loading up properly and i was like yeah okay but i went back and watched it and actually i think i was having a mini panic attack on okay. stream because my wow. breathing wasn't happening properly I, I i i was clearly like not not handling the situation as well as i internally thought i was handling it um so i think that's the actual on stream the hardest moment Obviously, there's been some people chatted whatever on stream other times and whatnot, and that's not been really hard at all. Um, it's just been something that you deal with. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I, I like generally. I think that was probably the thing. I've gone back and gone, oh, hmm. uh, and I think it's because I didn't, like, I didn't have an answer. I was like, well, I don't know. I, I didn't make the app. Uh, I've got the app in front of me as well. It's telling me that as well, but. I, I've never cheated in my life. Uh, and yeah, so, but now I, after that, I had did a little bit of investigation, found out that the stat, I didn't know that our stats be made private, uh, made them public again. And it seems to be a lot more stable now with its readings. But yeah. Anyway, that's the Warzone mm -hmm. companion app that I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I deactivate <clears throat> mine. I don't, you know, like I had it, it I think I had it app. on. When it first came out, I remember being like, oh, what's that, you know? Yeah, but yeah. then, then I got, then I, I didn't like it or something. I can't remember what it was. It was dropping my frames or something. So I deactivated it. You, turn, you then... turned your war hacks on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, 
and then uh, it was only recently i think it was only like a few days ago in within the last week um i had it on and i checked and it said the y8 was in the lobby oh really and you know that i'd place so 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 and so but like i i feel like it changed your mindset yeah totally changed your mindset like like knowing there's a hacker in the lobby yeah, you change the mindset on the game. You you completely like right the yeah, game. Yeah, you just like oh, we'll just back out. Yeah, you just like oh, we're gonna lose. But the thing is, you just never know what's gonna happen. No, no, absolutely not. And I think if you go in with the mentality of, you know, there's a hundred the lobby, or yeah. you're the worst in the lobby, or whatever it is, it changes your perception of just yeah. playing the game and enjoying. That's it. why I don't. I personally don't like all this, all this talk that goes on recently about skill based matchmaking, this, that, and the other. Yeah, it does my nutting because. Yes, um, you know, playing Certainly with good. the people that we play with, yeah, you get put into the highest tier, and yeah, yeah. it's not fun, you know. And like when you do a follower games or you do your supporter games, and you and you do actually end up getting into lower lobbies. No disrespect to any followers or supporters, because some are better than me, some are worse than me. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you get put into these lobbies and you can have a bit more fun because you the people aren't. Bit. Yeah, aren't as good, you know, and it's yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. Well, when I play with my mates from home, like, like, like the boys, like the game, the lobbies are easier. I'm like, this is this is good. I'm why am I not like Irish? Yeah, when I'm not going to be joining you this evening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm playing with my best mate. I'm like, I'm getting 15 kills. I'm like. I'm not streaming. Why am I not I'm streaming a, this? I'm a beast. <laughs> when then, um, uh, when I play with you. I'm like two kills. Great. <laughs> When uh, when you play with your friends from home, do you stream or do you play off stream? Uh, a bit of both. I know there's a bit of banter that happens. The chats, uh, yeah. with my friend, um, I just normally, yeah, hundred percent. Um, so, I, I mean, and also, I think they find it. They're like, "Can we talk? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, if we're streaming, of course, just act normal." The um, yeah. Some of your see that, pro- that's another thing is some people like for example my housemate as well. They don't realize we can put noise gates on our microphones. So yeah, I don't yeah. know how good your noise gate could be or whatever, but I personally, I, I'm in a, a sitting room, you know, like I'm, I'm in like a corner of like, well, more like an incove of a sitting room. So if my housemate comes out, chills out, and watches TV, he's mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, trying to turn the TV down. Now, obviously, yes, there is a certain level where it would affect the stream. But I think, yeah, I think it's uh, another thing people don't realize is, yeah, we have, noise gates on our mics um that we can block off Brown people sound. coming in and talking and chatting away yeah the other the other thing is i think it's important especially when you stream is to take time playing off stream because streaming is one of those things where to people that may not stream it kind of looks easy do you know what i mean it's like it's it's easy to think like, oh, this person just sits there and plays games like I do, but they've got a camera on. Where actually everything that streamers do on stream and off stream, like if I play off stream, I literally just sit there quiet. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if I'm playing on stream, I'm constantly talking. So it's like, I like to play sometimes off stream, um, which I do every now and then with my friends, like my school friends, because it's just, it's my time when I can relax and play rather than when I stream what I'm playing. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Absolutely, mate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's important to play off stream as well. Yeah. Um, Um, Antonio's, my wife just in chat saying, I can confirm he plays as much off stream as he does on stream. (laughs) Does, does your wife play? Does she play games at all? At Mario Kart, she likes Mario Kart. Okay, we can go with that. We can go with a bit of Mario yeah. Kart. Yeah, she's a she's she's got right on that, and she 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 got a little bit addicted to uh, the Mario World on the, on the Switch as well. Which is okay. Good. Do you ever yeah. do you ever play Mario Kart together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who usually I wins? Win. I win. I win. Oh, do you? Yeah. Ever thought <laughs> ever thought of doing a a duo stream? Yeah, no, that's that's what I'm talking about. Actually, I think we like every now and then on on a Saturday day um we'll, we'll stick the uh stick the switch on and do a stream uh she's more entertaining than i am so okay it would, it would work out well does, does she have a it. does she have a game in name is it like mrs stern <laughs> you could ask about that she, i mean her surname is johnston so it could be um uh, yeah no haven't got her uh 
a game. I mean, I don't she hasn't she hasn't set one up yet. No, no, um, no. All right, not yet, not yet. We'll see, maybe. James, I'm going to leave it to you because I feel like I'm asking all the questions here. I feel like I'm just. Uh, I'd, I'll be honest. I, I was like, I sorry, feel mate. The same. Sorry, well, that's why I was. Just... No, 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 no. I mean, as in, like, <laughs> I felt like I was asking a lot of questions. Yeah, no, yeah. Good yeah. It's a good mix, guys. You're doing yeah. well. Cheers. Good, cheers. Good. Uh, good. <laughs> I hope all the streams, by the way. I hope um, Stun Stream, Pointy Stream. I hope everyone is uh, enjoying the content so far. I've um, actually, yeah. I've got, I've got a lot of people asking questions in my stream. So just to clarify, we're going to ask questions Some that we may not have covered towards yeah. the end. I don't know when that's going to yeah. be because we've already been here for like an hour, which doesn't seem like it. Wow, yeah, um, it's mad, isn't it? But we are most of the way through our questions, James. We've got a few left. Also, mm. just in my chat as well. If I haven't got back and like, so guys, I'm not haven't been looking at chat. So if um, if I've obviously missed lots of uh, lots of chat, uh, I am sorry. Um, uh, it's not because I don't love you. You know I do. Okay, right. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, James, go for it. Go for whichever one of the questions you want, mate. I'll be quiet for a little bit. Sorry. Yeah. No. Just um, just want to point something out uh, that um, you said there about playing off stream. Um, someone in the stream here just said, Pointy said that extremely well about playing off stream. It's incredibly different playing with uh, the camera on, camera and mic on versus off stream. Um, mm -hmm. You know, because we do, we get nervous and I don't know. I, I, like, I, I don't think a lot of people realize how draining streaming yeah, is. Yeah, 100%. And when we, you know, when we sit here, currently I, I've reduced my stream times to about three to four hours, maximum four hours. I tried to. I used to do four hours minimum, um, but like you sit here and you, you you're trying to cont. Well, like I try to read my chat as much as possible. Focus on what you're doing in either Warzone or whatever game it may be. You know, make sure that you're looking at all your likes, all your shares, all your stars, and you know it's it is exhausting. Like I sometimes get up and I need to go and have a sit down on my couch. Yeah, and just flake out for yeah, half yeah. an hour to like wind down, like you would with a normal job, I suppose. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, after um, sleep, I'm like, okay, I need to go watch some TV, like more screen time, but like yeah. it's just to chill out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, I do think what you what 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 you said there in regards to um, streaming off stream, uh, playing off stream, sorry, um, is definitely a needed thing. Which I hold my hands up now and say I don't do enough of. <laughs> it's it's one of those things like everything in life it needs balance you know oh agreed. so agreed. like when when stun said about um that he thought when he when you went back and watched that clip and you thought actually you were maybe having a bit of a panic attack on stream that yeah. happened i kind of have a bit of an anxiety thing where every time not maybe not every time but sometimes before i go live i sort of question my ability as a streamer like before I go live, there's always a bit of an anxiety for me where I'm like, should I, is anyone going to show up? Are, are people going to come in and like give me shit for stream? Do you know what I mean? It's it's one of those things where I'm sort of like, should I stream? Is it for me? Yeah. And I can't, I no think, I think that sort of happens to us, especially like, you know, if you said there were like hundreds of people in there, like I've never, I've never had hundreds and hundreds of viewers. So I haven't had to go through that yet. But for me, it, it definitely is a thing. It definitely is a thing where we kind of worry about how we come across, you know, and hindsight is a great thing. But I just want to say like 100% for me, I feel like that's definitely, definitely a thing for streamers. Yeah, I'd say so as well. I think um, it, my own experience is, yeah, there's there's some anxiety when you, well, like, you're clicking live. Uh, do I have anything interesting to say? Uh, okay, what am I yeah. going to start with? Oh yeah, whatever. Um, and then you just like whatever comes out of my mouth. I don't know, like lo load of rubbish. But, um, but yeah, it, it it is. I mean, you're putting yourself out there. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think the more you think about that, you're like, oh, like this is. <laughs> anyone can see this, mm. and not everyone, but anyone. Like, and 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 you know, next job, whatever, right? um anyone anyone could see you streaming um and it's yeah so I, I think it's something but but that that also just shows that you're human and like you're you've yeah. got you know, you're self-conscious and 
um, and that's completely natural uh, feeling to have. And I and I and and from that point of view, I think some people some people's anxiety runs higher than others. Um, I know from like I said, people have asked me questions and whatnot, and like I know some people like really do uh, want to stream and but like find it difficult to start that yeah. process or journey off. Um, so it is, yeah, it is. So just so another question that we actually have there, um, because I think it's something, and I actually said to the st my stream anyway um, the other day that I, I want to bring it up, is uh, depression in regards to streaming. So like, have you ever felt any sort of depression through streaming or like getting off a stream like when, like, I mean, it's still in regards to like what we're talking about with the, you know, you checked it and you had a bit of a, mm. you know, a bit of a panic attack or whatever. But have you ever felt like any sort of like really like, you know, shit moments, like really lows, I like wouldn't, big lows? I wouldn't say there's been big lows um, for me. Um, I'd say I've seen on stream other streamers looking like they're struggling and i'm like and I, and I, and then in that respect i like i can see why they'd be struggling um whether it's because you're putting yourself out there and it's it it becomes a job it becomes mentally tiring um and you're not always um the you watch another streamer he's got hundreds of viewers thousands of viewers whatever and you're like oh cool oh, that's really cool uh i i don't actually think you want that as much as you do uh i think you want that i mean of course down the line if you you want it to have more exposure and grow but having people come into your chat also brings tension an anxiety of having to like entertain them or engage with them all it's impossible uh like the way we engage with our viewers right now like so if i look at my chat i can see uh tana's asking a few questions anxiety is real um anyone looking you know i can see i can see most of the chat when there's more than 100 people it's impossible. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. literally impossible. So literally. Um, um, it really, really is. So switching from one to the other, it's like, oh, I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> that, that, that's got a bit off track because I was talking about how people were struggling on, on their streams. And Or to, to flip it around, have you ever found that, um, you know, streaming has helped, like maybe on days you're not feeling great? Because, like, for me, I know I've had maybe not... I've had days where I'm kind of, you know, I'm I'm okay. Um, and then I'll stream. And when people come in and talk to me, like, for me, sh like, the people in my stream are the people I basically speak to the most, you know? Yeah. And they're people yeah, that I've sure. built actual relationships with. People I've never yeah. met, like we said, but I've built relationships with. So sometimes I'll load up my stream and actually maybe when i end the stream or when i'm during the time i'm streaming i'm like you know what like this has really helped me today having people to talk to have yeah. you have you ever had anything like that does streaming ever make you an well, amazing you know? as you say there's there's completely um like the the relationships that you like you are building a relationship with every single person that comes in your chat and especially this year past year we haven't had as much interaction as we normally would do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, yeah, we haven't had a social life. We haven't yeah. had a social life at all. Um, I'm very lucky. I live with my wife. Antonia's family live relatively close to us at the moment. Um, so there's been, you know, there's 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 been a support network in place close by, but not everyone has that. And I know streamers that live out there and live on their own. Um, we, exactly, <laughs> like. Uh, the streaming their streaming community is a big part of their day-to-day -day life um especially especially this past year um and personally have i've being on stream has definitely made my days better uh having engagement with people in chat 
um, and whatnot. Um, but I know that I've got Antonio, my wife, is downstairs, and like we can go and have a chat as well. And like, we're, so just like... touching on touching on this, um, I haven't tried to pull any questions from my stream. There's something that really stuck out for me was this one person's uh one person's it's not really even a question it's more of a kind of a statement uh she said i find streaming can sometimes hit an impact on relationships as in like um let's say you know yeah I bet. those who have yeah, um yeah. other halves it's happened with myself and my partner who games i think this is never mentioned by people so i thought you know that's a very good thing that we could potentially bring into it because i myself was with somebody and we we broke up and i believe that it was because of streaming Hard to do with streaming yeah i mean what i what i think on that is it's time it's and it, and it's understanding that time and what you're doing with it and where you're spending it um it's whether your other half understands what you're trying to do um, whether they engage with it at all on any kind of level, uh, whether they see it as like something to keep you busy or whether they see it as something you're doing to escape the relationship. Um, it, you know, I think if they're able to, if someone, the person you're with or you're able to convey that it's a project, you're trying to build something, it could be really good for you as a family um, down the road. Like, their piece of information that can help that conversation um in reality like are we addicted to the game maybe uh are we addicted to streaming i think probably less addicted to streaming but addicted to gaming i think that's a real thing um and then i i think understanding that and being able to come away from gaming is healthy sometimes um and help and and will be able to help relationships uh it's it's really it so if you if you if you go to work say you work six eight hours a day um do a shift whatever you're doing um and then you come back and your priority is going on stream then the person in your relationship is not the priority uh in in your life and you're not making time for that and, and quality time is important it really like from the relationships i've had uh and i and i know i'm guilty of <laughs> like not uh prioritizing enough um antonio's time and quality time together but she, she knows i love her for the best for the most part right Oh. I, <laughs> I was i was just going to ask do do you have like set days set times you make time to you know spend time together well we yeah i mean we we, we walk the dogs every day together Fri fridays is a definite you've got to watch them streams they're they're brilliant and we do we do the yoga, we, we do yoga. <laughs> we, we, she teaches yeah, fantastic. Yoga once a week uh for me um and uh, the the supporters group um which is good um yeah we we do um we could probably do more um i could probably do more you can always say that though i think yeah you can always say you can do more um once a day we take we we have to spend an hour with the dogs and walking them and us and the cats and the cats come for a walk as well yeah that's the thing really really wow. okay like, like dr doolittle come. basically yeah mm. Yeah, it's basically dog, cat, hamster, rabbit, <laughs> all just strolling behind you. Well, we got we got a white dog and a white cat and a ginger dog and a ginger cat and everyone that we come across on a walk is like, those cats are going awfully close to your dogs. I'm like, yeah, no, they're our cats, uh, and they're like, your cats are are they on the walk with you? You're like, yeah, yeah, no, that's that's happening. Um, so yeah, it's it's a bit of a weird one, but yeah. So, which is which is great quality time together. Yeah, good. <clears throat> Do uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. One of the questions I've got, um, and I don't know, everyone's gonna have a different answer to this. I think 
do you consider yourself a successful streamer now i don't i don't know how uh, there's people base that on different things you know what i mean like i know i base whether i think a stream has been successful or not on different things that other streamers might you know like for example some streamers might consider their stream successful if they gain one follower or some streamers mm -hmm. might consider it their stream a success if they've yeah. you know made enough that their stream is something they can do full time or how how would you consider yourself a successful and do you consider yourself a successful streamer um like, hmm. is there anything in particular you look at success. uh there's nothing that i i gauge success or uh on so much it's better like in, in stream um i guess if you're helping somebody then then there's success in that mm. um uh and there's some times i think i've helped people uh, just because they've they've said oh you've, you've helped me um a successful streamer it's a tricky one it's a tricky question because like you said you know six yeah. six thousand followers that's an achievement in my eyes absolutely. i think i think that's a hundred percent a successful achievement yeah i mean absolutely mm. uh yeah, yeah like there, yeah. there are mean, small there are small successes and everything so you said so you've got a support group so you've unlocked supporters on facebook yeah it's another success happened, happened overnight from that that video yeah okay which wow that's incredible literally um put the video out on a saturday you get all was, the viewers in for that stream it, was, it wasn't <laughs> it go was, live on the no sunday time. boom it was, it was 300 returning. Like <laughs> Mate, it was literally like that. I, I'm guessing so. Yeah, I'm guessing so. And I, All like, about when you I release no it. I had no idea planned of that. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I actually know. remember our first time playing. Um, I remember our f first ever time playing. I, think, I believe I was playing with M4. And he goes, oh, I'm going to get Stornator in. And I was like, okay, cool. And you came in. And you were like, oh, I'll drop you a follow. I was like, oh, cool. And I was like, yeah, I'll go over to your page. And I came over. I was like, oh, you're that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, I it's, I think it's, um, it's mad because the streaming world in itself is just like, it's so big. Like mm. it's a multi billion. Yeah. Know, not a multi million, it's a multi billion dollar industry. And um, it is just so big. And there's so many people. There's, you know, small streamers, big streamers, people that join the platform and within three days they're on triple the amount of followers that you're on and you're just like, what have they done? That happened, yeah. You know, you, you kind of question, you question a lot, don't you? Like, oh, well, I do yeah. anyway. I'm like, what what am I doing wrong and what are they doing right? Right, yeah. And that's what I would base success on is, I believe I'd, I would probably base success on looking at the top streamers and where they are. And then that's kind of where you want to be. Yeah. That's where exactly. I would have success at, you know, having a, a decent CCV. So, like, if your concurrent viewers is probably sitting at, like, 50 plus, uh, that's that's my next goal anyway. I don't know what yeah. your guys' next goals are, but that's, in my head, I know that that's one of my goals is 50 returning viewers or 50 uh, concurrent viewers watching What's the stream. Concurrent viewers? What if you're having 50 viewers? So, at, when, at so for moment? example, I don't know. I, I turn my viewers off because it, it, as you say, it does mess with you. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. when going back to what we said about that, like when I've been raided by, uh, by Nitro in the past and yeah. it was saying raided with a thousand viewers and then you look and there's like a hundred and something people watching. I sometimes go, right, guys, well, thanks very much, and I'll go raid someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because I, I just, I don't know. And now I'm not a nervous person. I'm not a shy person. I used to be no, on no, stage no. as a kid and everything like that. I'm not shy at all. But I don't know. Like, there is something about it when you've got 100 people watching you. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's like, oof. I think, and I think having that slow process of building the community to getting so at the moment i'm seeing i can see i'm seeing at 15 viewers um and it's sometimes i'm sitting at 30 viewers and sometimes i'm seeing at five viewers um you know and and i range i pretty much range between those numbers um at the moment um and i think having a pro slow process of building up those numbers is a really good and healthy way to be uh 
I think if you are an overnight success, I know we said that I was an overnight success. Um, but I'm sorry for calling it that. <laughs> I no, just no, had to go with like, something like, catchy, you know. I know it absolutely like it was that video, like all of a sudden went like that. But there were for, for that kind of interaction, it's always going to go up, and then there's going to be a peak, and it's going to come down slowly, and, and then I'll start building um, the community. Uh, but um, I like to. I don't know if anyone has had it where they've literally just shot from zero. I mean, you said about Stone Mountain, he was putting out videos for years uh, before one of them caught. Uh, and then, you know, he's had a backlog of loads of videos there and whatnot, and he's grown to, from there. Um, but having so many people in your chat at once, it, like, it's, it's, over, it's overwhelming. Like it's it's just like kind of too much. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there is there a bigger streamer on Facebook than Stone Mountain? I'm trying. I can't think of any off the top of my head. No. No, because I know he's he's sat. He's just over three million followers. Yeah. Um, wow. And I'm, I don't. He's... I can't think of a, a bigger a streamer that's got a bigger following on Facebook than him. On Facebook, there's not. I don't think. Um, it's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it, think about it, it, three chat, million but... followers. Mm. Though, like it's. Is there that many, like I, I I sit there and I like say to myself sometimes, you know, like when when we do get new followers or whatever, I kind of go, I wonder where they're from. Sometimes yeah. I'll yeah. click into the profile and just have a look. Like I've had people in my chat. Um, the most recent one that kind of gobsmacked me was uh, I think his his name was Matt. You know, because I tried to make relationships. I think we spoke about this before, Pointy. You know, mm. you know, building blocks. Yeah, you know, like each person is a building block. I said, I said to James once that I feel like building a community is like is like building a wall, and like one brick at a time is one person at a time. So when I started streaming, and like basically, I imagine every other streamer, there was no one watching, and the first person yeah. uh, actually is still in my chat now. He's one of my moderators, Lloyd, and I call him Day One Lloyd because it seems like he's been there since day one. Like he was like the foundation. And I built such a good relationship with him. And then I moved. And then it's like the next person, the next person. And now I've got good relationships with so many people that it's just yeah, starting yeah. to build up. And I said to James that the other day that I feel like it's like building a wall when you build a community. You're just building one solid relationship with people at a time. Yeah. Beautiful. So like I was saying, um, and he, he said that he was from uh, Quebec. And I was like, Jesus, that's like Canada, right? And I was just like, it, it, I just personally, I was just like gobsmacked. I was like, geez, like, there's people in South Africa, Australia, America. And it's mad because you tend to bring them all together in one area. And you're mm -hmm. talking to the people across the globe. I've got yeah. people from um, Malaysia. I've just got, like, there's just so many different nationalities that watch. Yeah, drop in. Yeah. They only might just drop in. You know, they might not sit yeah, no. there and, and watch, but they just drop in. Hey, how you doing? Drop a like, drop a share. Thanks very much. And then they're like, I'm going to shoot off. I'm like, cool beans. But it's just, I, I think that it's it's mental. And to think he's got like Stone Mountain, sorry, going back on him, he's got 3 million people. Mm. Like, I'm like, where do you find 3 million people that's to a, follow a, a page? That's a city. Like a city. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, I, think, I think Ireland has about 5 million five to eight million i'd say in and around that and i was just like that's literally yeah three million is just insane yeah insane um i'm just looking at the questions we've got left james i'll uh any of them you want to ask i think let's do let's do the fun side of it what do you reckon we go down and do the little fun part that we had what the getting to know you questions yeah have you have you <laughs> I mean, we we can do we can do if you if you want if you want it. Uh, yes, we've done some uh, getting to know you questions where they're sort of just like quick fire yes or no answers. Yeah. There's only eleven of them. I added some more earlier, James. Oh, so oh, um, yeah. what do you okay. want to do? You want to ask one, and I'll ask the next one, James, or what do you want to do? Yeah, I'll, I'll go with one, then you go with two. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. What is your favorite food? Uh, pizza. <laughs> what, no, all right, what, what, is your, what is your favourite pizza? Just out of curiosity. What's your favourite pizza then? Oh, yeah, something spicy. Okay. Something, okay. Yeah, spicy. Uh, cats or dogs? 
Both. We kind of touched oh, on this, I suppose. Yeah. You've already got, you've got both. both. Okay, but, fine. Come on, cats or dogs, if you had to pick. I grew up as a cat person. Yeah, okay. Dogs. I don't know. I mate, it's too hard. <laughs> this this one might it might be something else. I've got written down ketchup or mayo. Uh, mustard. No. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I think mayonnaise actually. Mayonnaise yeah. now. Be ketchup. He just got the mayonnaise. spanner into her. Why, why have you just got <laughs> a spoon next to you? Because <laughs> I was eating me. I was eating me dinner, weren't I, before we started? <laughs> Jesus. All right. Fine. Uh, all favorite fun. color. Uh, blue. How many pillows do you sleep with? Um, are you talking about Antonia again? Or... No, no, no. The pillows, <laughs> mate. Come on. Just one. Just one. Bloody hell. All right. Is it? Is it a big pillow? Thin pillow? I don't mind. I don't. I, I can sleep without a pillow. If I'm honest, it's it's a nice pillow. But we. I mean, I've got two there, and I just okay. throw one on the floor every night. All right. Fine. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, favorite film? Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, quick fire! Uh, I, I, I mate, sad. No, that's. Can I say pray for? No, I can't say pray for. You say whatever you want. Um, um oh, Godfather Part Two. Anyway, okay, let's... okay, I can rate that. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Mm. I, I, mate, I, I, <laughs> I've lived different places. Um home wherever wherever the family are um, okay all the mountains if we go go and live in the alps or... that's polar opposite <laughs> i want to go live with my family i want to live in the mountains really far away from my family yeah. <laughs> i like snowboarding if i could snowboard every day i'd be a happy man okay, um, okay. Uh, also uh I, that's never going to happen so because i always want to like be there around for my family so yeah uh longest time that you've gone without sleeping mm, I don't know, a couple of days uh any done... particular reason so i'm i'm not very good at doing things in in advance okay so college definitely <laughs> definitely pulled all nighters. Shit, I've got to on. get this in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one definitely of them. Pulled all nighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and carried on, cracked on, um, carried on going. Now, I've never really been like raves, staying up all night. I mean, I've been out and stayed up all night, uh, but I've crashed in the middle of the day, um, whatever uh, the day after. So I've, I've I've done I've done a couple of days, one full night, and then carried on to going to sleep the next day. Okay. What is uh, what's your favourite number? Do you have a favourite number? Lucky number? Mm. No, seven. Seven. Three. Okay. Go on, James. You All do right. the last one. Oh, we already know the answer, though. Uh, well, yeah, probably. Yeah, we know the answer. PlayStation or Xbox? Yeah, Xbox. Yeah, okay. Xbox. Yeah. Some, some, something I was going to ask when uh, you said about the no sleep. What's the longest stream you've ever done? Mm, I think I've done seven, eight hours, I think. Okay. Uh, it's not something I do now. I think because now I can see the trend, people dropping out, and it's probably when my energy drops even more so. That when like, Obviously, people aren't going to stay around for hours and hours and hours, whatever, right? Um, but new people will drop in and stay and whatever. Um, and I can see them dropping in and leaving a bit quicker. Uh, if I've been on too long, um, and that that will be naturally because of my energy. Like yeah, you start yeah. off the stream and you're like, "Hi guys, you yeah, know, so well, tonight we're playing a bit of Call of Duty. I hope you're going. Yeah, how's your night been? Are you good? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Well, yeah, yeah. No, well, well, I'm, I'm like, okay, let's drop into Call of Duty. Yeah, we're going for danks. Yeah, this is really fun. Uh, and then and then a few hours later, I'll be going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my my thing it's is natural. So so yeah. like, I guess uh, I mean. And and I think actually getting around that would actually be have a structure to your stream. And I think that's something I wanted to develop as well as having a structured stream schedule is having a structure to my stream. So, okay, play a couple of games. We'll do something else. We'll uh, share know, the stream out. Yeah, do, do whatever. Uh, and, if I, and if I could give you, if I could ever pass on one bit, one bit of advice that I have recently learned is share your stream once every hour. Share your stream. If you go, you know, if you go into your creator studio, yeah, 
um, and it shows a link to your stream. Um, and you can actually click into that, click on that, and then you can actually share it to your page uh, from your page. And I've I've seen yeah, post. I've seen a lot of people. Um, do that. So I Wait, where's that? So if you look at your creator studio, I'm in creator studio. Uh, it will say live. It will say how long you've been live, the amount of people in your stream, and then start time. And it's if you click that start time link. Oh yeah. It will bring your stream up, and then you oh, share yeah. that. Um, I feel like two games of Warzone. Okay. Go in, share with what's happening now, and okay. it tends to bring more people in. Okay. So bringing more people in, it tends to liven you up as a person yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, okay. I, I like that. That's something I do personally, anyway. Is I, I try to every hour remember to share it at least once. Okay. Um, M4 M4 is also agrees with that as well. He does it. He does it. It's something helps with reach. Um, another question we've got written down. Uh, are there any games coming out you're looking forward to? Um, so everyone's talking about Battlefield. Yeah, I, I haven't played too much Battlefield if I'm if I'm honest, and I'm, I look forward to giving it a go. Um, uh, and uh, likewise, I think um, Halo will be fun um, when that eventually comes out. Um, other games, mate, I'd love to get back into a football game and enjoy a football game again. I haven't I haven't enjoyed a football game since I don't know ISS. I don't know what number. Um, Pro Evo. Um, just because everything everyone went back towards FIFA, uh, and I hadn't played FIFA because of Pro Evo. Um, I don't know, have you even heard of Pro Evo? Yeah, Pro yeah, I yeah. used to play it back in the day. Um, I never just... liked it because it was always kind of even though it was the teams, yeah, they were it, names they different, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were all yeah. names, they didn't have the all names people. wrong yeah, because yeah, they, they didn't, didn't have, have the, the And I always, I, I always used to think that it was like the wish version of FIFA. I oh, really, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, oh, it's not a proper game, you know. But that was just me being a kid. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, then when you understand it a little bit more, I suppose it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's different. We've, uh, we've actually only got three questions uh, left. So uh, we will take some questions from the chat Soon. soonish. Um, um, do you want to ask that? Or will no, I? you go for it, mate. Go for it. Do you have any tips for any new and upcoming streamers that might watch, either are currently watching or will watch the video when it comes out? Um, uh, any tips uh, for starting off streaming? Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't take yourself too seriously. Just, you know, like it's, it's, it is like I, I had an advantage. I had technical, like some technical knowledge of setting things up. Um, and I know some people are quite hard on themselves because they can't get things working. Just take it easy and, and start streaming off and ask the questions to people that come into your chat. Have a chat to them. Oh, is this working? Is that working? You know, that's also, that's also content. That's also interaction. Um, so if you can don't i mean we're all perfectionists we all want everything to be perfect but you know, it's okay if things aren't perfect um and that's that's including on yourself like uh you're going to get positive people in your chat and they and you're going to get negative people come in uh i mean in all honesty i think negative and positive people i think I, yeah they probably are but the way they come across on stream uh, they can bring negativity into your chat and just don't worry about that just take it easy uh as yourself if you can laugh if they're laughing at you laugh with them it's all right like don't take yourself too seriously because uh that's a slippery slippery uh, slope uh just um when that starts happening um and you'll you'll find yourself struggling uh if yeah if that happens um and then other advice, uh, enjoy it, I guess. Try and enjoy it. If you're not enjoying it, try and change something, um, whether it be the game, the stream, whatever. Whatever. All right. It kind of leads cool. on to what we've got written just underneath that that says... Yeah, that's why we have that. Yeah, <laughs> that says, uh, if you knew what you know now in regards to streaming before you started, would you have done anything differently? 
nah. I, I mean, because mm. you're, I guess you're already quite technical before you started, so you already kind of knew what what to do in like that side of it. But yeah, to a certain extent. Yeah, yeah, to a certain extent. Um, I mean, there's pieces of software that I don't know and whatnot, but I know, and I'll learn that as we go along. Um, but no, uh, change anything? I don't know. I don't know. I could have killed Nitro a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you could have. Took my took my time about that one. Um, nah, mate. Nah, not if in all honesty. Um, and I think in life, like there, there's, I know there's times where you look back and go, "Oh, did I did I do that?" But I don't think they're worth changing either, um, because it, it kind of makes you who you are, what you do, uh, how you react to things, um, in in real real time situations in real life. Like like it's just in, if you if you get what I mean, like there's mm. yeah, it's all learning. It's all learning yeah. as we go along. Um, yeah. Sorry if I'm too philo- philosophical. No, sorry. No, we've we've only got. It, it's it's what we're looking for, I yeah. suppose. You know, is is to let everyone know what it's like. And at the end of the day, as as we've called this, gamer brain. You know, it's all about Stun's brain. Yeah. <laughs> How this is what I said to James. Of... What I said to James when when we first spoke about doing this. It's something I've wanted to do for ages, and that I always thought about doing on my own but when i spoke to james about it it made so much more sense because for one i just love him but it made so much more sense because when you think about it and what i'm looking forward to as hopefully this continues is every streamer has a different experience when it comes to streaming do you know what i mean like every every single person i know has got like a different story and that's what I love about streamers is everyone started in a different place and they're at a different place. Doesn't mean doesn't mean we're doing better or worse than each other. It's just every person is different. So that's yeah. what I love about this. And, you know, what I've loved listening to about everything you said is I I don't know the background and the origins of stuff as you, as a person, as a content creator, until now, you know? So, yeah. and I'd just like I'd just like to state for anyone watching on all three streams, um, Stun and uh, and Pointy have never met before. No, they've no. never met before. No, we haven't. We've uh, before never. going about ten minutes before we actually went live today. So like, none of this is rehearsed or anything like that. Obviously, me and Stun know each other. Me and Pointy know each other, <laughs> but um, they've never met. So, you yeah. know, it's. Uh, an eye opener for everyone, you know, like it's not just I say that's a good thing about streaming as well. You get comfortable talking to people that you you know, we've not met. You don't before. know, I'm, yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, hey, like and you, you, you crack on and and, and and the actual gaming is in, in in essence as well, because you're like you play a new game with someone random. By the end of the game you be could be having a good crack with them mm. or think, oh, oh Yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like it, it happens. It happens. Oh yeah, it absolutely happens. And that's natural. It's nothing against them, nothing against you. It's just uh a personality clash at the end of the day yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. isn't the healthiest yeah, yeah. thing, especially being a streamer and you're trying to provide content. Um, yeah. Like, for example, in recent times, I'm playing with uh, Shelly and Maestro myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've never really knew them. Um, I kind of uh, I got to know them because one of my moderators uh, organized two co-streams on the same yeah. day, but two separate streams with them got to know them and now we actually play trios um yeah. we play trios yeah. monday monday to wednesday and it's been fantastic like today we had two great games got back-to-back wins can't nice. complain but yeah. like i've played with people in the past i've done co-streams with people in the past it's just clash. nothing yeah you can feel you know, that there's it's just a disparity of energy just, yeah, yeah yeah whether it be yeah something something just is off yeah and, and something's not right. right and you know and you just gotta gotta accept that really yeah but I people think... see that on stream yeah, yeah you yeah. know it's noticeable on your stream even that you're trying not to make it noticeable it is noticeable and like people are like oh this isn't gonna end well you know <laughs> you know yeah. well or like it 
I mean, I, I can be very confrontational as well. So, I mean, it's happened for me quite a lot. But, I mean, um, I mean, yeah, like, you've really got to just t- touch in on the, you know, what you said there in regards to uh, you can just talk to anyone. You can, but you find out oh. who you can and can't play with. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, yes, we've only got one question left and then we'll start looking at questions in the chat. My chat have put loads that have disappeared, so we can get <laughs> get some of those ready uh, in a minute. Um, the last question we've got is, where do you see yourself in the future? We haven't got a time frame for that, but I guess, where is it you want to get to, you know? Um, or do you, know? you even have a time frame in, 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 in the back of your mind that you're saying... By the end of the year, I want to have 10,000 followers. I want to have 50,000 followers. Do you what have anything dream? like that for what, you? Any or... goals? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, do, way, yeah. maybe even if it's not stream related, it could just be you as you. as. Um, more. Uh, I mean, so growing the stream, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be great to have 10,000 followers, but also really happy with 6,000 followers. Um, <laughs> um, Congratulations, by the way, if I haven't already said. Yeah, no. Yeah, thank you, mate. Cheers, dude. Um, I, um, seeing myself down the road, I don't know. Projecting, I've always found it like in like a school when they say, where, where do you see yourself down the road, 10 years, five years plan? Um and when I was writing up, writing up a business plan for my for the yoga fit retreats to to start the business off to set the plan out there to get out there, um, you have to see have projections of what you want um, to see happen. Um, I always find it like a weird thing because it's just guesswork. Like, uh, and I'm not very good at just. Um, I know one thing I would say is when you when you say something, you can make that happen like mm. say like i said like, okay i'm going to be a streamer hey look look at that became a streamer anything is um, possible and it, yeah and you can yeah so so yeah so i i i'm gonna have a million pounds right um <laughs> yeah <laughs> no I, you're gonna no, play I, the lottery with lucky number seven was there not was there not somebody that actually wrote themselves a check was it jim carrey Someone, yeah, Jim, yeah, Jim yeah, Carrey yeah. wrote himself yeah, a check yeah, yeah, for a million dollars. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, yeah. one. So I think it was Jim Carrey as well. Um, his own line of funky shirts, maybe. TJ. Yeah, I could have my own line <laughs> of funky shirts. Um, yeah, I, I'm really uh, sure of that. It like, I, uh, I don't know. Um, I'd like to cross what I do now. Uh, with the events, the retreats, with what the gaming industry, um, which is kind of part of the yoga that I offer my um, supporters. Um, But maybe as an event, when we're allowed to do events again, um, like it's like like really good fun. And I don't know how it would work with the gaming side, but like I'll get in touch with Stone Mountain and we'll say we'll put on a festival, a gaming festival, and, and we'll make it happen. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll make it make it a super cool, uh, fun vibes. Um, God, imagine actually, like, I'd just like to say, imagine uh, doing something where you bought all streamers. And I, I mean, they do hmm. things like that where it's like, what is it, E3 and yeah, yeah. stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Um, but I mean, imagine they did something where it was like, right, we're renting a hotel out and all these streamers are just going to go party for a night. <laughs> imagine like all meeting each other like that'd be mental yeah, it'd be yeah. cool get it yeah, get yeah. it sorted it's done yeah. <laughs> we'll go to tenerife um, I'll, I'll look after you <laughs> yeah okay well let's let's get a hotel in tenerife all right out. there you go chats you heard it here first <laughs> um <clears throat> then i don't know like i'm not what i was trying to get there is i'm not very good at uh making projections for myself uh, or having goals, okay. goal orientated uh, stuff. Because, um, because most of the time I'm quite content where where I am, whatever I'm doing. You uh, did you did say earlier you considered yourself as not very good at planning. So uh, and also sense. and also not very good at planning. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So 
also part of that as well. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I'm just looking at my chat. I've got so many questions, but I've got I've got someone from Danielle has come in from Irish Vader's stream and said, "Guys, where Danielle. is Pointy? Yeah, where where is Pointy from? We're trying to get to the bottom of that accent." Is uh, okay. Yeah. Things Good question for me, Pointy. but my my chat have already answered it, so uh, I, it just I made me laugh. Yeah, we, me. we we where, don't know. Where, where where do you think? Um. Oh. I know you told me this the other day as well. Like I was looking at it on. I'm not on, actually uh, sure Google where you're map. from, Stern. You don't really have an accent to me. I think you just sound regular. Yeah, well, there we are. Yeah, that's yeah. it. This is when we find I've out we live next door to each other. Got the tip of the green. Are you? <laughs> you're not from Halifax, no? Not no, from Halifax. That's way uh, up there, mate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so um, if that's way up there, you're down south somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what England even like. Where places? You know, only recently oh, right. by playing Truck Simulator, I know that <laughs> Southampton's in the south and Dover's over here. Yeah. <laughs> what football team do you support? Point you. I don't don't like football. Well played. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that one very well, didn't he? This is uh, oh, okay. So so Sussex maybe. No. Are you Sussex. No. No. Okay. Uh, okay. So Gloucestershire originally. Gloucestershire. Um, so Cheltenham. I was born. Okay. You know, chat. So, like Birmingham, I'm sort of like Birmingham is just north, and Bristol is just south. And I live in. I used to live in Bourne, oh, Cheltenham, in the middle. Gonna go uh, Bristol. Oh, Bath, Somerset. Okay, we had a few people yeah. in the chat saying North, Somerset, Bath. Bristol. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So Bristol's just south of me, and Birmingham's just north of me. But now I've moved to the Forest of Dean, so I border on England and Wales. So I actually live More in. You... A, I live in a forest. It's great. The more you talk, it sounds more Bristol, Bristol, Bristol. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bristol is yeah. very close, very close. Yeah, it's like a farmer, but like yeah, lived in the city for a little bit of time. Yeah, people always yeah. tell me I sound like a farmer. I don't, I don't get it, mate. But you know, uh, no, I, don't, I don't, I, I no, don't no, hear I... the Bristol. I like, I mean, I, I know the Bristol accent, uh, but I don't hear the Bris, the Bristol there as much. No. I suppose. Um, but then I, again, like, do I have can't an accent? Hear it, like, Irish, a lot yeah, of people. That... To be fair, a, yeah. You... A lot of people say, yeah, you've got an accent. And I'm like, do what? From where? Yeah, yeah, yeah where from? Know. I don't know. I've got I've got so many questions, mate, in my chat. I might just start firing some out. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Go I've, got, I've got one from Carly, um, and it basically says, if you were offered a contract with a game company for a new game that you don't think your community would be interested in, would you take it... Um, or basically, would you not? Would you go for the income over what you think your community would enjoy? No. No. Nope. In, in, in essence, I wouldn't do something if I didn't enjoy it. Okay. Um, yeah, there was like, there was someone actually approached saying about playing, mm, I can't remember what game it was. Um, and <laughs> James is laughing because I've seen James. Uh, what was that game, James? That thing? What was that one I saw you play? That um, it was kind of like Candy Crush. Rust? No. Oh rest. God. What was oh, that? That was God. ages back, mate, wasn't it? Because they had a oh, bit. Of it. I, think they, it's did... still, I think it's still on my phone. One second. James. Was that um, a living, did someone pay to play game? Room, yeah. Yeah, he got paid Amazing. to play this game. It was basically like Candy Crush. I remember watching him stream Amazing. it. Um, I mean. Like even no. just my friends like on stream said, "Oh, can we play more Fortnite?" I was like, "I have played it once. I think that's enough." Yeah, um, I don't have it. I think it was called like Living Rooms or something like that, or I can't remember. God, God and Escapes, and mate, I, like if they were offering a load of money, uh, and I'll be honest, like it wasn't was like, a load of money, maybe, but it was maybe, the yeah. same sort of income that you would make off of. I think it was like twenty-five supporters. And like, okay. and in my head, I and was just like, "How many streams did you have to do of it? Is it all of your streams have to be done?" No, you had to reach. You had you had to reach so many minutes viewed. You had to reach so many people reached on each video because they they have access or something. You, when you sign up to it, it grants you them, give access, them access to the, the and they can there. see your portfolio and everything like that. But, Interesting. Um, yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, no, I wasn't actually laughing at that. I was laughing at the uh, the question. accent thing. Oh, okay. uh, someone, one of my moderators that's like a best friend of mine in the chat 
<laughs> he goes, James, I told you, your accent is 100% little bitch. <laughs> I just, I just, uh, it just caught me, just caught me giggling. Very good. Um, I've got one uh, that says, are any of us getting a PS5? I know I'm probably not. <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I'm on the ropes. My housemate has one. He told me it's good, but it's good. Yeah. You know, PC better. Was... Like, if there was a game that was exclusive, like, so what was that game? Uh, they've got, like, God of War, Spider-Man, uh, mm, The Last of game. Us, and the Chart last of is... us that was The Last of Us that was doing very well for a few streamers. Yeah. Uh, um, and I was like, ooh. And then I looked at the game, I was like, I probably wouldn't play it that much, if I'm honest. Um, microwave dinner, pointy. Microwave dinner, mate. W- will we talk about that? Will we? We'll bring that I don't know. It. Do you want to... I mean, we've been here for nearly two hours. Oh, that's the uh, yeah. that's the only thing. I'm just thinking I've got to go and eat at some point. I'm starving, mate. Dinner, mate. I've got so many questions in my chat. Mike, so Mike, dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Yeah. Um, I've got questions like, uh, are you looking forward to lockdown being over? Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. Hell yeah. I'm looking forward to just, yeah, yeah. I played golf today. Great. Um, you went out today? Yeah. You were allowed out? Is yeah. that why you didn't answer me on Discord? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I came back and I was like, "Oh, I need to go," and then I, I need to go and do that thing before I stream. Um... <laughs> I actually, I actually messaged you on Discord, and I was like, "Oh, he might not see that because it says he's offline." So I went onto Facebook, messaged you on Facebook, and it was like, "Delivered, delivered, not read." I was like, "Shit, he's not going to be there at half five. <laughs> and then I was like, "I'll was message him enough. on WhatsApp." I was like, I'll message him on WhatsApp. So I messaged you on WhatsApp. Oh, did you? And oh, never mate, got I've a reply from that, that. and I was oh, just sorry. like, "Shit." I was making. De- I came back to my it computer. I look Hang at on. my phone. I look at my phone, and it's just like there are the notifications of what we've where we've been. All right, Mister Popular. Yeah. No, yeah. it's just All like right. it's just, just showing off now, mate. Like <laughs> it's telling me streamers have gone live. It's telling me a Twitch streamer has gone live. I've got an email from Amazon. Hey, that's good to know. Um, and my Amazon order is dispatched. Uh, a group message from Ibiza cricket team. Great. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> I just yeah. I oh, know, just... but I just remember sitting down and being like, "Oh shit, is he going to be here?" And I looked, and it was like five twenty-seven. And you had message, "Hey, yeah, really looking forward to it." I was like, "Yes, at least he's seen it before." I passed him. <laughs> and he knows. Um, okay, I came on. When I was just, just about. Oh, it was it was perfect. No, Fine, it was perfect. perfect. I've got a question that says, "How does it feel to be an influential person?" That's Ooh. a good question. Yeah. Uh... I guess, I mean, yeah, I, I guess there is some of that, some truth in that thing as well. I mean, I could go back and say I'm not influential. Um, but I know from the community that some people might find the street like influence on certain certain aspects, right? Uh, whether it be games, technology, whatever, right? Um, don't know. I haven't thought about it before. Um, is there a responsibility there? Probably. Uh, um, I think there's a responsibility. Be kind. Be kind. Yeah. <laughs> always, always. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've got someone asking how many followers do you have? Do you know exactly how many, or is it just over six thousand? If, if I look at my screen, it tells me I've got six thousand one hundred and sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. What a good oh, okay. number to finish Ooh. on. That's my favourite number right now. Uh, yeah. What is the funniest thing that has ever happened to... Well, it says, what is the funniest thing that's happened to each of us in stream? Um, oh, God. I'd, I'd have to sit and think, mate, honestly. I don't, I've had times where I've literally laughed so much that tears have come yeah. out, but nothing sticks to mind. Um, so I don't know if you've got a moment that you, was the funniest time you've ever had on stream. So one of the funniest times oh, I can personally remember was um, when Phasmophobia first came out. Mm. Now, I laugh and I joke and I try to make a lot of comedy, right? But uh, Phasmophobia had just come out and I was playing with another streamer called Trazy. And um, he was trying to like teach me a little bit about it as well. He was only new to it as well. But um, we're walking through. Now, I've got a voice changer on my stream deck. Yeah. So I've set up... <laughs> I've set up the... Uh, this like devil's voice on the stream deck. And uh, he's like, you know, Mary, Mary, can you hear me? And like, <laughs> nothing's coming through. 
<laughs> it's just the same thing you did to me the other day when we were playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I actually, you've seen the clip. I think the clip's up there somewhere. And he goes, Mary, Mary, can you hear me? And he's like, oh, did you hear that? I was like, no. And then <laughs> I put the voice mod on and he goes, Mary, if you can hear me, give me a sign. And I go, <laughs> and he goes, yeah. he goes, <laughs> I remember like literally, I was, I was, I think I was literally crying. It was just, it was just so good. Even when I watch it back, talk about it, anything, it's just too good. It's just too good. I've got, uh, someone's just reminded me about when my chair collapsed. I had a, when I first started streaming, I had like a wooden kitchen chair and it fell through on stream. Um, oh, so that look was, at him now. That was but pretty funny. Look at him funny. now with a secret lamp look look, 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 <laughs> Batman, <laughs> Batman is representing now. Oh, yeah, but it, I went it's straight through chair. it. I went straight through it. Um, oh, I've got someone ask, where is your top from? Your top? No, yours. Or my top? Yours. Uh, it's Barber. Barber. Oh, I'm like okay. 50 years Barber. old now. Okay. Um, what What was your What was your funniest moment, though, Stun? We never got that. I, well, someone in chat reminded me that uh, the drunk stream probably is up there. Uh, that was actually good. I remember watching that because I was watching yeah. all four of you. Yeah, that was I brilliant. Know. Yeah, and you've you've got some role to play in in how that ended as well. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So I mean, the funniest moment I, uh, I don't know. Probably probably is up there to watch back anyway. Yeah, there's the thing um, is there's just so many. You know, it's hard to pick one when you put on the spot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got a question here. Sorry. Okay. Um, what is Stun's dream vacation? Uh, it's a snowboarding holiday, somewhere, wherever. It's just the best. It's just it's just the most fun. Snowboarding holiday, an, yeah. An active holiday. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it wins hands down. I mean, I've I lived in Ibiza for five years. Uh, nice by the beach. But I... It's a party island at the end of the day. Well, yeah, I mean it is, but it's also it's also a very pretty beach island. Um, I've never really been. I could never sit by the beach on a holiday. I, I'm just useless. And like, okay, can we go and swim? Do something swim now, yeah. or do something? Like, I'm just rubbish at just. Which is ridiculous because I can sit in front of the TV and do nothing. Play quite video easily. games all day. Yeah, long. play video games all day long. Um, <laughs> But yeah, normally, yeah, I, it, it it just wins. Um, Skiing holiday. I've got one that says, if you could meet your supporters, how and what would you do? Like, I guess with your supporters, would you have? Well, like, we're already organising that. All right, and we're we're not just supporters. Anybody that wants to join in, we're doing tough mudder. Oh wow! Okay, when's uh, that? It's August. August. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, so like, I oh, I'm just. Probably like us all, I haven't been very active the last year or so. Um, so I want something to train, feel a bit healthier about myself for. So I'm gonna. I signed up for Tough Mudder, and I just said anyone who wants to come is welcome to join me. All right. Um, um, I've got one. We kind of covered that earlier. Where if you would go back um, before you started streaming you know, with what you know now. I've got someone that's asked if you could start over and change one thing, what would it be? Is there anything that stands out for oh, my name? Your name? I know, what would... <laughs> no, I don't know. Really? Well, I've thought about rebranding a few times. Have you thought about changing your name? Yeah, I don't like Ken. No, no um <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a right he's a right numpty. Have you um... have you got ideas for what you would change it to? Like have you thought oh, proper in depth about it? Yeah, I mean, not really in depth about it. I thought about changing it just to shorten it from stun eight to stun eight with a number. Okay. Um, and then uh, to begin with, it was going to be buddy gaming or something along those lines. Um, because my dog's called Buddy, and I was like, oh, I can take pictures of Buddy. It'd be great. Like, be fantastic. People love dogs. Cool. Uh, but buddy gaming was actually it was that it wasn't even taken on facebook i don't even know if it probably is but um it was taken on the xbox i couldn't have the xbox name i couldn't change stun a to a buddy game i was like oh there's no point then um no you can because you've got activision <laughs> well yeah absolutely i could i could call my and then then in retrospect of course you could call your 
your gaming your on on your computer or on your on Activision doesn't have to be the same as what you've got on your, on your stream because it just doesn't at all. You could be known as anything. Um, but to be to be honest, like it seems seems like a bit of work and effort. Yeah. Maybe, so it's done it all do for the moment. <clears throat> I like it. Well, thank you. That's all right. You know, I just thought I'd throw that. Any out questions there. in your chat, uh, Stun? Um, probably. How? How? Uh, sorry, uh, Amy. Stun at all? I'm sorry. Um, stop talking about changing, it, Antonio. Okay. Is there any questions that I've missed, or um, any questions that anyone has? Uh, you booking <laughs> digs for the night? Oh, that you're talking about a uh, tough mother. Okay. Um, where are we going? Okay. I have one here actually from uh, Tana Helsham. It says, uh, could you maybe ask the panel? Um, of the panel pays for marketing. So basically, I, I think the question is, do do you pay for marketing and advertisement for your page or streams? No, not yet. Something that I would consider. Um, if I was really pushing to grow and pushing um, it as a full-time thing, um, or even if I'm not pushing it as a full-time thing, it's like if I if I made like one hell of a funny video or or something like something happened, I'd be like, okay, I could push that a little bit, uh, you know, make 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 a video out of it and and promote it. Um, it's not something I've done. What about you guys? uh i've done I it in the in past the yeah yeah in yeah. the past um it's a weird one because they let you go so in depth with how like who you market who you to because yeah, you can for other businesses yeah you can not... literally pick the thing is if you go into your creative studio you know you can look and see how many percentage of your followers are between like 18 to 24 25 to 30 yeah. how many of them are male and female whereabouts in the world they live they give you so much information and you can basically pick and choose every little thing and it's no way i guess for me it's knowing what would give the best outcome um so i've done it in the past but until i kind of have more of an idea of what i want to do um it's not for me at the moment yeah okay i mean i've heard also it impacts your natural reach yeah if yeah. you stop if you start paying for reach they take away your natural reach yeah. because they think you pay for it um i don't know how true that is um i don't know i i that's... think that is true I, because... I would say that's fairly true yeah okay because i've noticed that um that's i think since the first time that i paid for reach which I think I did like twenty dollars, twenty euros or whatever it was for like a week, mm -hmm. which was about a euro or nearly two euros a day. Quite, did you do it, it quite for a... your stream or did you do it for a certain all the video? page? The page it was for the page. Okay. It was to it was I think it was to get me over four thousand followers, but I narrowed it all the way down to America. You know, like English speaking countries. You know, yeah. because otherwise it picks Malaysia. And yeah, yeah. you get all these people following you, and it's like the squiggles. Yeah, and yeah. you might have followers, no yeah, but they're never there. Yeah. You know, they're, yeah. they're never I, viewers. I um, I did mine, and I picked literally just like UK, US, and I found I would gain like fifty followers a week. I never saw any of them. Like yeah, I saw yeah. the number going up, but I never ha ever had one person come in and be like, "Hey, yeah, I saw your ads." Like, so I'm not sure yeah. who those followers were or where they are or where they've been but i've never heard anything from any of them and you know i did that mm. i gained sort of 50 followers a week i did that for about <clears> six <throat> or eight weeks before i was like you know I've, it's all great and stuff your followers going up but i've never seen any of these people yeah do you know what i mean yeah. so i think if you yeah. had something like say i don't know if you ever watched thin's uh the lunch uh money yeah uh, yeah i've, I've like, seen something it. funny something something genuinely like people would find funny and would engage with i think that might be worth promoting because then it would increase that reach and mm. then those certain people that would be interested in the game or gaming uh streams whatever um would be like okay he he seems all right funny 
good cast, good stuff, good content, stuff I might enjoy. Um, so can I ask you a question? Going forward, do you see yourself just doing streams every single day? Or do you see yourself um, making videos on Sundays and yeah, um, streaming on Sundays? Or like, are you set to, I want to stream at least five days a week sort of thing? I think I want, here like, there. so I've kind of made myself a mini schedule and I'm seeing if I can keep to it before I put it out there um, uh, as a thing. Um, so I want to, so I've got a schedule in my head um, for my streams um, and hopefully that will give me enough time to create content as well, um, make videos, clip things up, um, something which I've not been doing at all. So something I'd like to do. What about you? I mean, you, you stream every day. You yes. have one day off, right? You want to give yourself one day off. I don't know if you actually give yourself I, yet. I You're haven't done it yet. <laughs> You're trying to, right? It's something I'm trying to do, but I'm a, I'm a workaholic, genuinely. Yeah, yeah. I finished my stream today. Actually, before I started my stream today, I got sent a picture, and it was of the new update, what you can do with the new zombie machine. You can get like the bombardment and the new perks mm. and stuff like that. I turned my PC on at 8 a.m. I was... I had rostered myself to go live at 10 with um, Maestro, Maestro and yeah, yeah, Shelly. Uh, 9 a.m., I'd just finished my breakfast and I dropped into a game and I started recording um, content to make a video, have half of the video made. And it drives me mad having to stop there and then yeah. having to go back to it. But I've got half of the video made and then I did my stream and then I finished my stream. As soon as I finished my stream, I started downloading that stream because we got two wins. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I consider myself a workaholic. I, I try to work really hard because I want to, personally, I want to try and get somewhere, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's not easy, I suppose. Like, you've, you've really got to, you've got to push. And like, when, I think the reason that, I don't put out as much content personally as I want to is because sometimes I, I, I get sidetracked, you know, you know, yeah, like, yeah. um, like today, for example, I was like, right, well, I want to make a stew. So like I, I go, up, it takes me an hour, you know, to, to chop everything, get everything in, get, let, make sure it's all cooking. Okay. Then you come back around and you're like, Oh shit, I need to go hang a wash out, you know? So there's still life stuff, yeah. life stuff going on. It might only take five, ten minutes, but it's taking you away from making content to push. Like yeah. I wanted to have this video done this morning and it's still not done. Yeah. So I try I personally try to try to stream at least once a day, provide content at least once a day. Yeah. Even on well, Friday well, when I'm not gonna I'm oh, sorry, yeah. go on. No, go on. Even on Friday. I was just gonna say, even on Friday content. when I'm off, I yeah. want to be able to at least put out one video. Even though it might not be me live, but it will be a video going out. Do you do the same, Ponty? Are you? I haven't actually seen your stream schedule. Uh, I my streaming is all over the place, mate. I just stream when I can. Um, yeah. my job, I my hours and days change every week. Okay. So Good there's man. yeah, there's no consistency sort of when it comes to yeah, my yeah. full time job. So some days I'm up at four a.m. Um, to go to work, I have to be there half five, seven times. I uh, work on the railway, okay. so uh, trains run early, mate. What can I say? They do. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. sometimes I have to get up at four a.m. and I have to be at work for like half five. Some days I don't start work until half one, and I'm not home till like nine p.m. Um, so sometimes I stream in the morning before, or I stream after I get home at lunchtime. Um, and it's difficult because I work about sort of twenty twenty miles away from where I live. So then I've got to take the time to like travel, travel, travel back, and it's I just stream you with your work as well on the railway. Uh, no, no, there's no there's no train stations in the middle of the woods. Um, <laughs> so um, you know, I, it's 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 a lot, mate. So I try I try and just let pe let people know when I'm streaming. Um, yeah, okay. So I don't really have any consistency. It probably would help if I worked like nine to five Monday to Friday, but you know, I, mean, I haven't, yeah, I haven't got that luxury at the moment. No, exactly. Um, Would you consider yourself a full-time streamer, Stun? Me? Uh, no, but at the moment, I guess I'm streaming as much as a full-time streamer. I'm streaming most days, aren't I? Um, that that's just due to COVID, though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. If I'm honest, right? So my 
I'm I'm very fortunate with the uh, with my work uh, is like I can do things to my schedule uh, and on the most part. Obviously, emails have to get answered and whatever admin stuff. But um, my business run it with my wife and my my sister. Um, apart from when we're on retreat, so I could I could probably still keep a schedule together when life returns to normality just depends wow. if I there's other things will will get introduced as well as work you know there'll be social events there'll be other things there'll be things that I want to do do I want to go play football once a week do I want to go play tennis once a week or join a cricket club or you know there's other things that I'll consider replacing some of my stream time uh with because they're activities that I enjoy um as so it, it 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 i'll i will keep on going no matter what when life returns to normality it's just depending on how the, how i work my schedule um if that makes sense yeah mm, yeah and, uh, i've completely i've, I've got, got a couple of questions from chat here go on you go on yeah oh for how us <laughs> how long have you guys been streaming uh a year on facebook for me um as of in about a week actually oh happy uh, birthday for, in a week's time Is, yeah are you, are you streaming on you say on facebook you streamed on twitch before uh, i streamed on twitch sort of on and off for a few years and it never sort of worked for me Developed but i me. yeah i but i stream much differently now whereas if if you went if you went and watched my twitch streams all all you would see all you would see was this yeah, which is, if I'm honest, is the majority of Twitch streamers. Yeah, and like I never used to speak or anything. I, I'm completely different now to how I was then. So, um, but yeah, I'm Facebook now, like for a year nearly. Cool, man. Awesome, awesome. And Vader a little bit longer. A lot a bit longer. Unfortunately, I've been on, uh, well, fortunately, should I say, I've yeah. actually been on Facebook for two years and three months. Um, I took a, a, a massive break though. I, um, when I first started, I did it as a hobby. It was literally, I think like everyone does, you know, it's just a bit yeah. of fun. Um, but yeah, um, I think it was October time or August, probably August, uh, 2019. Um, I had noticed myself putting on a lot of weight. I didn't have enough money to survive weekly. Um, I was only doing one day a week in work and I was struggling. And um, I said, right, I'm going to stop streaming. I put my PC up for sale. Um, I was getting rid of everything. And then I think it was what March last year. Um, COVID hit Ireland, you know, closed down about two years, uh, about a year ago exactly actually, because I remember it was my housemate's birthday and we had steak and wine. It's something we used to do. We used to have steak and wine nights nice. on each other's birthdays. Yeah. And um, we had steak and wine and I think it was like the night, the next day, I was like, oh, I might try streaming again. And uh, now I had someone that always said to me, he was like, oh, come on, get back on, get back on. Get... And I was like, no, I'll never get back on. Um, I was like, streaming's gone for me. You know, I, I like, I've killed it basically. And at the time, I, uh, when I finished stream, when I stopped, I was just over 1,700 followers. Um, when I started back up, I actually lost a load of followers because it was like, oh, shit, yeah, remember this guy? Yeah, fuck it, unfollow. You know, like, it happened. Yeah, um, yeah. you don't know. I think I went down to like 1,500 followers. And I looked, and my uh, video, I had like, I think I had like 60 people watching. Like this is my first day back when I when I started back in March. And I had like 60 people watching. And I remember being like, holy shit. I was like, what the fuck? And I remember looking on Facebook gaming, or well, not Facebook gaming, but the gaming watch area on Facebook at the time, because Facebook gaming wasn't out. And I was the like the top of the pack for you know, like the 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 pushed streamer. Yeah. And um yeah, that's when I came back. So I came back like a year ago, but I've been streaming on Facebook for about two years. Okay. Cool. Yeah. 
over two years. I've got people in my stream now following 711 days. Nice. Like it's, that's it's insane. Yeah. 300 days. Um... We've kind of already covered... Someone's asked how you balance home life and stream life. We've kind of been through that. I don't. Um, <laughs> uh, someone asked if you watch The Mandalorian. Just as like a quick thing. You ever watched Mandalorian? I, I, just, I haven't watched all. Uh, I've watched um, the first two episodes uh, and I need to get back into it. I think there was, I was watching something else at the same time as that and... That took a back seat and I haven't got I need to go and, I've got the Disney app, so I just need to go back and watch it. I actually haven't watched it. Um, it's good. I it actually good. have Anthony Anthony in here saying, Ask Ken, aka Stunator, does he love Mandalorian? So it's weird that you I, love, I think I love... it's the same guy. I think it's the same guy. Um I've got I mean I if he's asking, do I love the program or do I love the person? The person's amazing. Oh, yeah. oh well yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, his, his name's Mandalorian. We've and, and, We've kind of uh, someone asked, uh, what is all of our favorite games? Uh, you said, what was yours? Call of Duty 2. Was Two. It? Yeah, I think so. Um, for me, Wait, mate, I've I can't even I can't even think really of my favorite game like ever. It would it would take me some time, probably like Goldeneye on the Nintendo 64. Oh, or something like that. Actually, that's a great shout as well. Yeah, so yeah. Mine, like mine is uh, Tomb Raider. Um, when i think it would have been tomb raider 3 and she you, you could go in the croft manor and they had like an obstacle course in the croft manor on the ps1 mm, nice. and uh yeah. it was the it was the obstacle course i used to sit there and try to beat my my time every oh, single oh, time okay. <laughs> and just keep playing it just keep it's playing, like playing it. the floor is lava in the gulag literally like i love that i see i love that sort of side of things but yeah unfortunately for me within streaming I struggle to retain viewership um, if no, I play anything that. else that's Warzone. Yeah, I'm so sure that's why I don't really play many other games. Yeah. Um, just when you went to say Goldeneye, oh mate, because that's obviously one of the first really good multiplayer games. Yeah. Playing Halo, playing like when I think Halo first came out, me and my mates all used to go around one of our houses. There were sixteen of us playing multiplayer halo every friday for for a good year uh and it was it was awesome it's like literally we'll take our tvs yeah tvs in the hand xboxes <laughs> system link up all, all these systems up with the one hub uh and so we could play each other and i guess that's the that's the origins of stream sniping isn't it yeah you know, yeah when well, you just like watching watching the uh yeah yeah and that, you can see where they are yeah oh, that's oh, uh okay. Yeah, that was. Uh, that's, oh, yeah. Second, hey. that's, that, that, that's where the beginning of uh, your stream sniping evolved, is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had to have my own screen. I couldn't have anyone else watch my screen. I was stream sniping the whole time. I, I, that's just purely for me because I used to always play against my brother, who's older than me, was always better than me at it, always. I couldn't beat him. And his friends as well, the same. And I used to play it all the time trying to, pra trying to practice. I was like, I've got to beat these guys. And then when it finally got to the point where I was better than them, and then it kind of just evolved onto the next game, and it just ever since then, I'm trying to think if that was the first sort of first person shooter I played. Um, I'm not sure, but it, it, since then, you know, it's like I played a lot of shooting games, but that that was kind of where it picked up for me. Yeah. Um, a couple of other questions I've got: Has becoming a streamer impacting you playing gaming time with your real friends? friends in real yes. life yes yeah 100 percent. yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't it's... speak to i don't speak to like anyone that i grew up with anymore for me, yeah for me i feel like sometimes there might be some of my friends i don't know if any of them are in the chat there might be but some of them i think might it's it's easy to take it the wrong way they're kind of like oh you're a streamer now so you can't play with us right and it's like what is what i'm actually doing is i'm trying to put out what i feel is the best content and no offense to any of them but sometimes that means not playing with them. Do, you, do you know what i'm saying yeah. so yeah, yeah. You know. i mean friends you know they're friends they can be very vulgar they can say the wrong words yeah Oh yeah, you know, they, yeah. Banter some of, some like, of my friends are definitely friends. not stream friendly. We'll say that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. So it can um, be uh, it 
can be very uh toxic but in like in in a friendly way but on stream it doesn't always come across that way uh so yeah someone someone's asked me are we looking at a new warzone trio oh yeah we could definitely have we can trios. work something out we can work something out um Quinty, do you, what game what, do you play other games Quinty? Uh, I no, I go between a lot, mate. I don't really play much yeah, Warzone at all anymore. Um, okay. Yeah. I played a lot when I started streaming on Facebook. I played a lot of Warzone, which is when I met James. Um, and then I switched from Warzone to Apex Legends. Um, and my I would say my main game now is Snowrunner. I don't know if you ever heard of Snowrunner. Snowrunner. Yeah. You ever seen You ever seen Ice Road Truckers? Yeah. Imagine that as a game. Okay, cool. So uh, I switch between a lot, mate. So I've got I've got my steering wheel here that I've dismounted because I've got like wheels and the pedals and I've got the shifter here oh, uh, and everything. Um, so um, I do SnowRunner. That's quite good. Uh, I still do some Warzone. Um, I play I play a lot, mate. Like I play story games. Like I'm working my way through Assassin's Creed Valhalla um and i need that's something i'd like to do as well i've not played a story game in ages i'm a sucker for a good story game i like a good storyline um i love them yeah. i love this Assassin's so, Creed. I started yeah. playing it. um i've also got my oculus yeah. uh vr from facebook that i'm gonna i'm actually doing a vr stream on friday um so I'm i play a lot i play a lot mate i play a have lot you got your, have you got your have you got your uh scare stars on uh probably but the thing is the thing is they'll come out through the speakers so they won't come out through my oculus headset, headset. they'll come out uh, through the speakers so, not so how in. scary it will be i don't know you yeah, know okay. um so yeah i, I play i play a Sorry, lot of are you guys things. having any issues with moderator badges like i've just uh, noticed all of my moderators have no moderator badges no nope, mine are there. Uh, they're talking about it at the moment but mine i don't have. understand why no mine yeah. are, mine are still there from what i can see Carl's asking if there's any other good battle royale games other than Warzone and Fortnite. Uh, PUBG is great if you. It's a lot slower. Mm. I've not yeah. played. I've not played the Battlefield Five battle royale, but I've heard that it's just flopped. I've not. You know what? It's called oh, like Fire Zone or something, isn't it? Fire Firestorm. Yeah, I've not. I've not played it, but I've not heard good things about it. I played it. Um... No, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I never liked Blackout. Like for me, I thought the game was terrible. I just, I just couldn't play it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I um, played Blackout. That's what I started streaming on. Um, I never liked the idea of battle royale, <laughs> to be honest. And uh, uh, I've I've just seen my one of my moderators and uh, his wife is in the chat, and she goes, "Yeah, he's having problems with his mod badge. It's still there." Um, so uh, it just made me. Someone laugh. in my chat saying, "Yeah, I can't see my mod badge, Dean. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Are uh... <laughs> no, you not a mod? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, I haven't, uh, I haven't got uh, any more questions really. My camera's just gone way out of focus for no reason whatsoever. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, maybe me... just yeah, move. I've got my. Um, see, the thing is, my auto focus. I've taken my auto focus off, so I've got to refocus mine sometimes. So I can. Yeah, you I can. can you can really take blurry. that off, pointy. Oh no, you can't actually. There we are. There we are. I'm. Oh great! That, yeah, that's much better. Now it looks. Now yeah, it looks that's great. great. You look like me now. Sorry about these. Sorry about these guys over here. <laughs> I'm trying to get it to sort of focus. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, I haven't. I haven't got. Uh, I haven't got anything really. I mean, we've been at this for two hours, twenty-eight minutes, and fourteen seconds, according to my end, which is it's much longer than, longer than I thought. Um, but oh, we've had a good chat. A lot longer. A... a lot longer. Yeah. And this has a... to be. This has to be narrowed down into a thirty-minute video. Well, oh, you well. never know. You never know. We'll see what happens. Oh, golly gosh. Um, but Stun, do you want to just remind people? So you're on Facebook, obviously. Stonator or Stonator, as some people like to say. Um, oh, there's the Bristol. There as, was the uh, Bristol there. Old Stonator, <laughs> there, my boy. Um, have uh, what about anything else? Are you on? I'll fix the back door, Amy. Okay. Are you on? Have you got like YouTube, Twitter, uh, TikTok, um, anything I'm else on... people can check you out on? I'm on Instagram. Um, What's uh, the handle? Stonator. It's just Stonator. If you find me on anything, I'm. I have got a YouTube. Um, Stunator Gaming. I mean, or Stunator. Like, so if you actually go into into YouTube and and search for Stunator, there's an old channel which 
was 15 years ago or something, or 10 years ago. Um, yeah, it's 2007, whatever. Um, which has got one of my films from university on, uh, and then some other random stuff. So I need to go and sort that channel out. I can't remember the login details or anything for it, um, and change <laughs> and take away that content to remove that content and put put some uh, put some relevant content on it. Um, and then yeah, I'm not on TikTok. No, nope. I haven't yet. Yeah, yes. that is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I mean, I have actually created a TikTok profile, but I haven't. Yeah, I've not delved delved into the world. I, I get sucked into TikTok though. I can start watching TikToks. I'm like, oh, what just happened with that hour? Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. They did, I have uh, this new being... rule that I've set myself recently. Um, so I'll stay in the sitting room and I'll watch whatever on TV in the sitting room and I'll chill out on my phone as well or whatever. But as soon as I go into bedroom, I put my phone on charge, put my alarms on. Now, normally I'd sit there and like chill out and yeah. scroll. Yeah, I yeah. put my phone down and I'll put my TV on and I'll watch something until I'm tired enough. Then I'll just turn TV off. But I won't use my phone while I'm in bed anymore. Oh, that's awesome. That's, um, I mean, I should, I need to create that as well for myself. Yeah. It, it, it's so hard. Like, it's so mentally difficult as well because I'm just so, I think, like, I feel like, I, and it sounds terrible, I'd feel lost without my phone. Because I think because of the social aspect that we all live in as well, like we all connect and stuff like that, messages, communicating yeah, with followers, yeah, with yeah. viewers, with whatever it may yeah, be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I just got this. And you got Irish Raider and pointy chin. Pointy chin. So, so I mean, they tagged in chat, but obviously, I've yeah. I've actually got someone's just asked saying how did we all come up with our streamer names? Um, and obviously, so yours is a mixture of your surname. Yeah, and yeah, just, uh, just yours mine's, is the size of that chin. Isn't mine's it? <laughs> just real simple, mate. Like just having a huge you do this. chin. You do this the thing lot, is, you. the thing is, the beard kind of it's more like double chin now, to be honest, rather than pointy chin. It's but, hidden. Uh, it's hidden well. The yeah, it's chin. hidden under here somewhere. Um, it's like me. But, I'm just glad that my camera's up there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> if it was down here somewhere, I'd be like. Whoa. Um, but for me, yeah, it was need... just you know when I was a kid, I used to just pull this face and uh, look like I had a really, really big chin, and then that just it just kind of stuck. The one day I had to make a a name for my PlayStation Three account, and I was like, oh, "Point chin, point chin." Yeah. yeah, that was it. Yeah. And... So mine actually, uh, mine comes from about two thousand and twelve. I'd probably go with. And uh, it used to be JPIRA <laughs> is what my uh, gamer tag used to be. And uh, I ended up playing with these guys, Storm Vader and Briss Vader. And obviously the clan was called Vader Gaming Systems and you had oh, to have Vader yeah, cool. in your name. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so they were like, right, well, so we know who you are. Like, so we can distinguish you straight the way. We're going to go with Irish Vader. Like, I was like, yeah, Irish Vader is perfect. Um, yeah. Obviously, I don't have an Irish accent, but I live in Ireland. So they, they knew straight the way, oh, that's Irish. You know, that's, and then uh, Storm Vader was Vader. We always called him Vader. And Brisk Vader was Brisk. So, like, um, the original Vader, as of such, and the reason of the name for me is actually because of Storm Vader and in his group. You know, we, we played together through for years, about five years. Um, he actually pops in now and again, very rarely. I've played with him in the past. But, um, yeah, that. I suppose we don't really talk anymore, but like that's where the name Irish Vader kind of came Vader from. Comes from cool. Uh, that's why when people come in and they go, "Are you even Irish?" And I'm like, yeah. "Well, uh, technically, no." But <laughs> <laughs> I live, I live in Ireland. Does that does that matter? Like, yeah, you're yeah. calling yourself Irish, you know? Yeah. So yeah, I like your hat. Oh yeah, thanks. Irish Vader, you can get the merch at Geeks Unleashed. <laughs> I actually asked, it's one of the questions that I kind of avoided. Someone actually asked me, they said, why is your camera backwards? Remember, I, I even said before the stream, I was, saying, I was trying to f find out how to flip my uh, camera on Discord. If anyone actually knows, message me. Because, yeah, for yeah. some reason, I'm... So it's in your, in your camera set. Yeah, yeah, you, so uh, I'm going to... I'll, I'll work that out. I'll work that out. Um, I mean, in game, the, I, the fl other... I flip my camera. I flip my camera on game as well. The... The only way that you could potentially do it, actually, is um, if you flip display capture. Oh yeah, but Wait, it will put work? you. It will put you where. <laughs> oh no, yeah, you, you're you're in a we'll single, aren't you? Yeah. Hang you on, hang on, hang on. How do you do that? In is it a filter? 
Uh, no, so you go into it. Uh, transformation. Uh, transform. Flip horizontal. Flip horizontal. Oh my god! And just like that. <laughs> and and now I'm a whole new person, James. Shout out to you, mate. Um, so yeah, but good job. Not, good job. Thinking. That was real. Uh, real simple. Um, so yeah, yeah. Thanks. I now now that I've got it, it's worked. So uh, all right, cool, cool. Um, I think I think that's um, good, mate. What we've what we've got because we've been here two hours thirty five minutes. It's nearly nine pm. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So, and... sorry for keeping you. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Me? <laughs> well, yeah. everyone, I, hope, I guess. I hope, it, I, I hope uh, you've enjoyed no, think... this first episode as much as uh, being honest. I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed doing this. Shout out to everyone. Um, I've got so many people saying I've come over from Stun's community. Um, I've gained. Same. I've. I'm not. I've got. I've so gained much. loads of loads of followers. There's a few new supporters in there as well. So shout out to all of you guys. Um, love it from all of us just big big love thank you for uh yeah. stopping by my my stream has been sat on sort of 20 to 30 viewers this whole time people, amazing so many uh, people are right saying now, that they want to see more of this they really enjoyed it um so make sure guys uh in my stream if you haven't go check out irish vader and stonator on facebook um, and uh yeah big love thank you for uh hanging out Go do some uh, trios to finish off the stream. No, yeah, I someone said that to me. Know. Someone said that to me. But the thing is, I've got to go and eat. I'm starving, yeah, no, mate. I that, need a little yeah. bit more food as well. Yeah, yeah. I do think yeah. that I might. Uh, I'm, I might stream. I don't know. You might. I stream. might come back on. I might do. I you, might you, you're going to call it a stream, yeah? Because this needs to end, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mean? And then you need to do the theme tune. Game of brain. Game of brain. Gamer, gamer, gamer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you do that? Can you do that again, please? No, he's he's recording now. He's so. recording now. <laughs> I, need, so. I, need, I need that on full screen. Come on. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> gamer brain, gamer brain, gamer, gamer, gamer brain. That's good. Done. I like it. I like it. I think that's. I think that's very good. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it, chat. You gotta love it. So um, um yeah. So um. I'm just going to let them know what we've got in the plans for this pointy. Yeah, uh, yeah, go for what it, mate. What we've spoke about for everyone's uh, for everyone's stream, uh, everyone watching. Basically, <coughs> this video from tonight, we're going to try and make into an actual, you know, maybe a 45 minute to an hour long video that we'll be try to release next week. This time next week, and we're also going to try and take it and make it into a podcast. And potentially put it up into Spotify or find some way of figuring out where we can put it. Um, basically, yeah. So, but if there is any other streamers out there that are watching and interested in potentially coming on, we're going to be trying to do two interviews every month going forward. Um, By weekly, either. Like it. Yeah. So, so yeah. it gives us basically, for example, we make we do the we do this, we release this then as a video following week. Then the following week we do a new person. Following is week it going to be this, video. this time every week? Um, uh, we're not sure. That depends okay. on me again, to oh, be yeah, honest, because because yeah. yeah, James yeah, James yeah, obviously streams full time, but for me there are days, you know, like if I'm up at four a.m. Yeah, for no. work, I'm in bed by eight p.m. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Um, and that changes is every week. Like the days off change every week. Well, if you're creating the video content anyway, I yeah, mean, that's the, that's the content as well. So, but we'll try and advertise it, um, you know, as far in advance as we can to let people know. Like, I've got a custom command set up in my chat, explanation mark gamer brain, um, and it says about sort of what it is, what we do, and I'm going to oh, try and get the uh, date the uh, schedule put in there when once the next me, one into that, yeah, yeah, once me and James uh, sort of work no, it out, find out, out. yeah. Um, do you know who the next one is? Uh, we no, haven't picked yet. We haven't. Pi I mean, I don't know. We haven't really gone through a process of how we're going to pick. Um, because I mean, how do you follow this one up? I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, I know, it's be, right? maybe we should just <laughs> maybe we should just quit whilst we're ahead. Um, my camera's gone out of focus again because it's a piece of shit. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll work. We'll work some out. Does sure. it need a clean? Oh, uh, mate, it needs chucking in the bin. No, uh, no. Is there something on the lens which is just throwing it out? I don't know. I'll go and give it a lick in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, or I'll just switch. To my, I've got two of the same camera. I might just switch to the other one. 
Um, so yeah, um, you know, big love to you both. Thank you for uh, your time, and um, you know, we can try and work some trios out at some point and see what happens. I'm game. Yeah, one hundred percent. And you never yeah. know, Stan. Maybe in the future, once uh, you kill Notre Luke a few more times, we'll get you back on. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah. See how you progress. Actually, I think I remember you told me you killed him in uh, Resurgence once as well. He was like, "Oh, there's that yeah. fucking Stunator again." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, he, he I'm gonna so much better that time though. Anyway, um... I'm gonna end it my side, guys. Yeah. Um, I just want to say from my side, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you to all the people that have watched it. Um, everything. Yeah. I, I mean, I can see Colby M4 is like, yeah, I'd love to. Would be a pleasure. We'd definitely have a chat. Uh, see what we can do. Um, I definitely think bringing all types of ranges of streamers, you know, new streamers, old streamers, people that like, if we can try and get a, like someone that's fucking, you know, 50, 30,000 followers, you know, to come and do it would be interesting to see their side. Of yeah. The well. growth. Absolutely. It'd be really mm. interesting. And, um, and I know we spoke about it before, but if you ever want, ever need someone else to help be involved, whatever stand in, if they're, if you, any of you guys are not well or whatever, um, I'm around. All right. Um, awesome. Cool. Awesome. Wicked. Thank you so much. Yeah, right. Well, okay. anyway, stream. I'm gonna I'm gonna say bye to everyone on my stream anyway. I'll yeah. end it as well, guys. Okay. So bye big, to you, big love, you guys. Uh, Irish Raiders and Pointy Chin stream. Thank you very much for having me. Um, have a lovely evening, guys. All right, guys. Peace. I'm gonna end it as well. So big love, uh, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow. I guess I guess we'll be on at some point tomorrow. So big love, guys, and I'll uh, I'll see you soon.